Climb up the ladder. All the way to the top. And kill this evil creature. Wait for it to die, then go down the ladder. And then we're going to speak to King Narod. Okay. That is the Eyes of Galuffrey completed. Fantastic. Now we're going to head to the Grand Exchange. Now we need to go train our woodcutting. We're going to bank everything in our inventory. And I'm going to grab a black axe and a mithril axe and an adamant axe. I'm also going to get some leather van braces and kebet claws so I can three tick. Now you do not have to three tick. I would recommend doing it. Obviously it's a lot faster, uh, but if you don't want to three tick, then you don't have to three tick. Once I finish my wood cutting, you can just simply pause the video. Now I'm going to get my games necklace out. I'm going to choose to train out at Barbarian Outpost. And I'm gonna be training on Oaks the whole time. Something that can help you out is, uh, first of all, turning off your quest helper. You don't need that anymore. And then, turning on the visual metronome plugin. And we're gonna use the tick count of three. This is just gonna help me keep in my three tick cycle.
All right, there is 34 woodcutting. Once again, if you do not have 34 woodcutting, now is a good time to pause the video and get 34 woodcutting. Once you do have 34 woodcutting, let's go ahead and head back to the Grand Exchange. And we're gonna go ahead and put everything back in the bank again. I'm gonna get a new ring of wealth. Now we're gonna need any ax that you can use. We're going to need a knife. We're going to need a water talisman. We're gonna need one singular pure essence. To turn this visual metronome off as well. We need magic combat runes, no staff. We'll bank that when we get up to that point because I want to elk along the way. Need a stamina potion and a prayer potion. I'm going to get two staminas and one prayer. And then we need Axman's Folly. The mature version. And we're going to need two of those. Need a teleport from a glory. I believe we've already got one on. Yep, a five charge glory. And we need a lumbridge teleport as well. We we'll grab those lumbridge teleports out. Fantastic. Now we're going to go ahead and teleport to Draenor Village. And we're going to run west to Fort Sarim. No. We're going to run east to the Lumbridge Swamp. That's what I thought. And we're going to speak to the warrior here. Chat option number one. Chat option number one. Chat option number one, and chat option number two. Chat option number one to start the quest. And we'll chop the tree that says chop. And speak to Seamus. Chat option number one. And then for the Lumbridge Diary, we're going to enter the water uh, runecrafting altar. Heading to the east here. And we're going to craft a singular water rune. And we're going to teleport to Draenor. We're going to run west to Port Sarim. This is where we want to bank all of our weapons and equipment. We can keep the runes on us, so I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a lore rune out the bank as well, just so we can teleport afterwards. Looks like we can actually bring a glory here. So I'll bring that and a ring of wealth. We don't need the law runes if we can take that along. We're gonna run west to Port Sarim and we're gonna try and take the boat to Entrana. Once we're on Antrona, we're going to go northeast past the church over the bridge. Mm -hmm. 
Attempt to climb down the ladder. Chow option number two. We're going to run through. Drink that prayer potion, pray melee, and kill the zombie until we get a bronze axe. And there it is, first try. We're going to head through. And we're going to attempt to chop the Draymond tree. This is when we need to use our Axeman's Folly Boost. And then we're going to safe spot the tree spirit. We actually killed it quick enough to keep the boost. We're going to go ahead and chop three Draymon branches and only craft one of them into a Draymon staff. And we go ahead and grab one more just in case. Then we're going to teleport to Lumbridge. And we're going to run southwest here. Equip the Draymon staff. Southeast into the swamp, but then southwest. And then we're going to enter this little shed here. This is going to be lost story complete. And then we're going to teleport to the Grand Exchange. I'm going to go ahead and get all of this back in the bank. Grab my Rune Arrows back out for Alking. Grab my Zoretian Robe so I don't look silly. And grab that Arty Cloak to put on my back. At this point, we can now cast Fire... Uh, blast. So I'll get my fire staff back out and then I'm going to get myself a tome of fire. Go ahead and fill that bad boy up with some burnt pages as well. This is completely optional guys. You don't need to do this, but I'm just going to do it because it gives me some extra DPS when I'm using magic. So perfect. Go ahead and put that away. Now we need to grab ourselves the secateurs out of the bank. We don't have any secateurs in the bank, so we'll buy them. We need the Draenor Skull, which we got earlier. That will be in the bank. We need a Ghost Speak Amulet. We need a Draymond Staff. We need a Swordfish. We need a Tuna. Or a Tuna. We need a Salmon. We need a base. We need a shrimp. We need a big fishing net. We need a fish bowl. We're going to need to fill this up with water. We need seaweed. We're going to need stamina potions. Grab two of those. We're going to need a glory, which we already have on. We're going to need a combat bracelet, which we will put on. We're going to need lumbridge teleports. We already have them in our inventory. We need a skills necklace. We'll grab a fresh one. We need a ring of wealth. 
which we should already have on. Let's check the charges on it. We've already got four, very nice. Then we need a Selv Graveyard Teleport. Let's grab all of those out. We need a House Teleport. Grab all of those out. And we need Cathaby Teleports. Let's go ahead and buy some of those. Okay, that is everything we need in our inventory for the next section. And we're gonna go ahead and teleport to Draenor Village. Run over and we're going to speak to Martin, the Master Gardener. Gonna use chat option number two. Chat option number one. And chat option number one. And chat option number one. And we're gonna go west to the Port Serim patch. We're gonna to speak to Frizzy. Chat option number one. Then we're gonna to teleport to Cathaby. We're gonna go inside this building and we're going to speak to Caleb. Chat option number one. Chat option number two. Chat option number one. Ask what happened to the rest of it. I'm gonna go ahead and use this empty fishbowl on the sink because we need to fill it up. Now we're going to speak to Dantira by the farming patches. Chat option number one. And then we're going to run southeast to the fishing shop. Put seaweed in the fishbowl. And we'll speak to Harry. Uh, can I get a fish for this bowl? Option number two. And option number one. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and use the tiny net on the aquarium. And then we get our fish in a bowl. Don't need that. We're just going to drop it. And then we'll big net fish for one mackerel. Eagerly awaiting this mackerel. Okay, if you haven't got your mackerel yet, now's a good time to pause the video until you get one. If you do have your mackerel, go ahead and teleport to the Felidor Park with your Ring of Wealth. And you're gonna speak to Heskel. Chat option number one. Teleport to the Champions Guild with your combat bracelet. Run to the bush patch, speak to Drevin. Chat option number one. Teleport to your house. Run west and speak to Terrier. Chat option number one. And then teleport to Draenor again. I'm gonna go speak to Martin.
Speak to Martin. Ask about the quest, chat option number two. Then you're going to teleport to Lumbridge. We're going to run to the Zanera Shed, which we just came from from the last quest. Go ahead and enter. Head directly south into the throne room. And we're going to speak to the fairy godfather. I'm going to use chat option two. And then head to the west. We're going to enter the room north of the bank. And we're going to speak to Fair Enough. until we receive the symptoms list. And then we're going to teleport to the crafting guild via the skills necklace, which I don't have in my inventory. I quickly teleport to Edgeville, grab a skills necklace out. While I'm here, I'm actually gonna bank the crest part. We don't need that right now. We'll grab that skills necklace out and we're going to teleport to the crafting guild. Then we're going to head north through the gate. Run west to the wizard's tower. Climb up to the top floor. And we're going to speak to Xander. Keep talking until he takes the symptoms list. Then we're gonna to teleport to the crafting guild again. We're gonna run east. Run east until we find Malignus Mortifer. There he is. I'm going to use chat option number two. I'm going to spam through this until it's done. And then open up our quest list. Now, everyone is going to have different items here, okay? So whatever items you get are the items you need. I have some Jenga berries, a potato cactus, and a crust gemstone. So I'm just going to head to the Grand Exchange and grab those right now. Whatever your items are, you need to go and get those. I need a potato cactus. Jenga berries. And I'm going to go ahead and get myself um, whatever I need. Jewelry. I can cut red topaz at 16, so I'll get an uncut topaz. Let me just get five of those and we'll try and cut them. And we should get at least one rushed gemstone from that. Perfect. There we are. We don't need to do the rest. Let's just drop the rest, drop that chisel. Go ahead and get the rest of the items out of the Grand Exchange into my inventory. And they are the items I need. Jenga berries, a potato cactus, and a crushed gemstone. And then I'm going to teleport to the Salve Graveyard. 
If you don't have your three items yet, now is the time to pause the video. Get your three items and then teleport to the salve graveyard. You do have your three items. We are going to run south to the nature grotto. To go ahead and equip my ghost speak amulets, my Jango berries turn into rotten food. I need to go back to the Grand Exchange and get another. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna buy five Jango berries now because I do not want that to happen again. And then teleport back to the self graveyard. Fantastic. I'm gonna go all the way down to the nature grotto again. Okay, only one more turn. So we're going to uh, put our Ghost Speak Amulet on. We're going to enter the Grotto. Fail the Agility Obstacle, of course. Enter the Grotto. Speak to the Nature Spirit. And have the Nature Spirit enchant our Secateurs. Fantastic. Now I'm going to quickly go to the Grand Exchange and grab myself a prayer potion and a couple of sharks. I bank those Jango berries and rotten food. Grab myself a prayer potion. I'm going to grab a super combat as well. And a couple of sharks just in case. Now we're going to teleport to Lumbridge. And we're gonna head back to Zanaris. With the Dramon Staff, enter the Garage, shed. I'm going to travel southwest. Heading south towards the cosmic altar. Running all the way around. Go ahead and squeeze through the gap in the wall. Chuck on our magic second to us. Super combat up. And we're going to go ahead and fight Tangle Root. Now this is unfortunately based on your strength and farming level, so it could be a long fight.
And we're going to go ahead and pick up the Queen's Secateurs and then run back out. Run back up to the Fairy Godfather room. Speak to the fairy godfather. And that is going to be fairy tale part one. Now for fairy tale part two, we're gonna go ahead and teleport to Draenor village. And we're gonna to speak to Martin the master gardener again. Ask about the quest. Perfect. Now, at this point, you have to wait about five minutes for Martin's crops to grow. So your options are to just stand here for five minutes and wait or log out and go and do something. I'm going to log out and go and do something. This is your opportunity now to pause the video and come back in five minutes when you're ready to start again. Okay, now five minutes has passed. We can talk to Martin again about the quest, option number two. Oh no, I didn't start the quest. I have to wait another five minutes. I think. Oh, okay, cool. Now we're gonna head to the Grand Exchange. Get another ring of wealth out the bank. Head over to the Grand Exchange. We need to grab some new items out of the bank. I'm gonna go ahead and deposit everything else from my inventory. Grab myself some bread. Grab a tinderbox. I need a bucket of wax. We need some bat bones. We need a cadaver potion from Romeo and Juliet. I'll be in the bank. And coins, which we already have in our inventory. We need some melee combat gear. So we'll grab a scimitar and a super combat. We need stamina potions. We're gonna grab three of those. We need a teleport to house. Grab all those. We need a skills necklace. We need a combat bracelet. 
We need Camelot teleports. We need Varrock teleports. We need Falador teleports. We need Draenor mana teleports. And we need Cathaby teleports. We're going to teleport to Camelot to start this one off. And we're going to head into the castle. Gonna speak to King Arthur. And option number one. Start the Merlin Crystal quest. And then we talk to Sir Gawain. Option number three. Option number one. Head up the staircase. And we're gonna to speak to Sir Lancelot. Where is Sir Lancelot? There he is, inside the room. Speak to Sir, Sir Lancelot. Chat option number three. Then we're gonna teleport to Cathaby. We're gonna climb into the crate behind the candle shop. Jump out of the crate. I'm gonna go through the doors and go all the way to the top. I'm gonna to put on our Rune Simi and Super Combat. Pray melee and attack Sir Mordred. Once Sir Mordred dies, don't cancel the dialogue. You wanna go through the whole thing. Okay, we're gonna go chat option number one and chat option number two. And then teleport to Cathaby. I'm gonna head into the candle shop in Cathaby. Speak to the candle maker and chat option number one. And then we speak again. We get our black candle. We trade the candle maker and buy one regular candle. We'll drop that one. And then we're going to teleport to Felidor. To run north. And we're gonna enter Tabley. I'm gonna to speak to the Lady of the Lake. Chat option number three. And then we'll teleport to our house in Remington. We're gonna run east to the jewelry store in Port Sorem. We are going to attempt to enter and we're spoken to by a beggar. Chat option number one. And it turns out to be the Lady of the Lake. We get the sword Excalibur. Now we're gonna to teleport to the Cooking Guild. Go upstairs in Juliet's house.
speak to Juliet and give her the potion. Teleport to Varrock. And we're going to speak with Romeo. And that is Romeo and Juliet completed. Now we're going to run to the southeast corner of Varrock. Go to the Chaos Altar down here. Inspect the Chaos Altar. Check the Chaos Altar and read the inscription. Then we're going to teleport to Camelot. Open the gates to the castle. And then we're gonna take the east side path. Now we're gonna stand on the star, light the black candle, and then drop the bat bones. And the words are Snathon Candon Candtrick Termanto. That's the second option for me. It might be different for you. Then we're going to teleport to Camelot. We're gonna go ahead and take the eastern door over here. And go south and then climb up the ladder again. Climb up the ladder again. Use Excalibur on the crystal and Merlin is freed. Return and talk to King Arthur and that will be quest complete. Fantastic. Now I would take this and use it on agility, but uh, just for this, uh, because we, uh, we're doing it, you know, as by the guide, I'm not gonna take it. But if you get a dunce or a uh, lamp, just use it on agility. Now that is Holy Grail, uh, sorry, Merlin's Crystal Complete. We're gonna speak to King Arthur again to start Holy Grail. Chat option number one. Chat option number one. Now we're going to go ahead and climb up the western staircase. Going to go into the easternmost room. And Merlin will be in here. Let's speak to him. Chat option number one. And we're going to teleport to Draenor Village. Going to run west to Port Sarim. Need to deposit any weapons and armor. And then we're gonna take the boat to Entrana. Deposit all your weapons and armor. That should be good and we should be able to take the boat. 
Well, that is going to be an arty cloak, and then we should be good to go. Perfect. Gonna head east and go through the door of the church. Speak to the high priest. Once the old crone has joined the conversation, uh, you now can teleport to the ranging guild using your combat brace. We're going to run northwest to Sir Galahad's house. Uh, I think that's a little further northwest. There he is. Go through the door. Speak to Galahad. Chat option number four. Speak to him again and have him make us a couple of tea, uh, cup of tea. There we go. And then we're going to leave his house and cross over the agility shortcut. I'm going to teleport to Drain Manor. I'm going to enter and climb up the staircase and then climb up again. Nope, that's not the right one. Enter and climb up the staircase. Okay. Oh, and then climb up again, and then we're going to enter the room to the south. We're going to take two magic whistles, and then we're going to head to the Grand Exchange. Grab our staff back out, grab our Zeretian robes, grab our Arty cloak, grab our rune arrows, put all that on. To go ahead and deposit everything from my inventory now. I'm gonna grab myself Excalibur. I'm gonna grab coins, which we already have, a Draymond and stuff, the two magic whistles, Rune Scimitar, Super Combat, a prayer potion, a couple of staminas. And we need Camelot teleport. We need Ardy teleports. We need Felidor teleports. And we need Lumbridge teleports. We're going to go ahead and teleport to Ardy now. Going to run south. And we're going to take the boat to Brimhaven. Now we're going to head to the northwest. I'm going to go up to this spot up here in between these four poles and click blow on the magic whistle. That's going to take us to the Fisher Realm and we need to defeat this Black Knight Titan.
Apologies for the audio here. Now you must deal the final blow with Excalibur. So get it down low and then pull your Excalibur out. We're gonna head south along the river and we're going to speak to the fisherman. We're going to use chat option number two. We're gonna head west up towards the castle. Going to pick up the Grail Bell and ring. Uh, we're now inside the castle. We're going to climb up the southern ladder. Staircase. Go through and speak to the Fisher King. Chat option two. And chat option one. Then we're going to teleport to Camelot. We go inside the castle. We're going to speak to King Arthur. Teleport to Felidor. Going to run north to the Goblin Village. We're going to head into the Eastern building and we're gonna prod the sacks. We're gonna right click open. And there is Sir Percival. Talk to him and chat option number two. And off he goes. Now we're gonna to teleport to Lumbridge. We're gonna go into the Zanera shed again. Heading into the shed. Go ahead to Barry Nuff's area. We're gonna watch the cutscene.
going to pick up the healing certificate off the ground. Read the certificate. Right click, study the certificate. Talk to the fairy chef. Then we're going to head southeast to the Cosmic Altar. I'm going to read the Rune Temple sign on the wall. Close that down and we're going to go to the Throne Room. And we're going to talk to the Fairy Godfather chat option number one. Chat option number two. And chat option number one. Now we need to speak to the Fairy Coordinator. Where is the Fairy Coordinator? Fairy coordinator, here we go. And then chat option number two. Then we're going to head southwest past the wheat field to the fairy ring. We're going to speak to fairy fix it. Then we're going to equip our Draymond staff and configure to BJR. And there we go, we now have access to fairy rings. I'm gonna head down to the castle. We go into the Eastern room. Climb up the staircase. Climb up the ladder. Take the Holy Grail. Teleport to Camelot. Head north. Into the castle, I'm gonna to speak to King Arthur. And there we go, Holy Grail is completed. We're now gonna to teleport to the Grand Exchange. Go ahead and put everything in our inventory away again. And we need to grab climbing boots. Buy them from the Grand Exchange. Need an iron bar. We need maple logs. We need a cake tin. We need a rope. We 
I need Swamp Tar. I need a bucket of wax. We need magic combat gear. So I'm going to get my Tome of Fire out. And my runes. Now we need three or four stamina potions. Let's opt for four. Rare potions, we'll grab two of those. And we'll bring some sharks. Need a games necklace. Need a combat bracelet, which we've already got on. And we need a Draymond staff for fairy ring teleports. We are going to teleport to the fairy ring. Let's go ahead and get our salve graveyard teleports out. And these are what we're going to use to use the fairy rings. If we teleport to the salve graveyard, there is a fairy ring right there. And we're going to configure that to AJR. And then we're going to follow the path on the map. We'll put those climbing boots on. So if you just follow to the east, Take the southern path here. Click to climb over the rocks. Head down to the south. Click to climb over these rocks as well. Heading down to the south again. And now we are where we would be if we'd run from Berthorpe. So much quicker way to get there using those fairy rings. Gonna set up our auto cast for fire blast here. Whatever your highest magic spell is, is the one that you're going to use. And we're gonna go through and attack dad until he forfeits. It means someone else is fighting that. There we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and stand next to the door. This is a safe spot for dad. So if you just run over here, he's not gonna be able to attack you. Okay, dad forfeits now, and I'll be going. I'm gonna go ahead and run to the northeast. And exit the arena. We'll go ahead and go through this cave entrance, bring melee just so we don't get hit. Go through here. Exit again, and we need to follow the path all the way around. We're going to be praying ranged at some point once you get to the top of this circle here. Start praying ranged now. And once you cut this corner, you're gonna to want to pray melee against these trolls up here. And we're gonna head into the troll stronghold. Now you can keep your melee prayer on this whole time because you will be getting attacked by trolls while you're inside. We're gonna run south. And we're going to enter this room. I'm going to speak to this troll named Cobb. No, we're not going to speak to him. We're going to move forward and we're going to attack the troll general.
Could have sworn there was a safe spot for this, but that's okay. That's what we got to protect melee for. Gonna take out the troll general. And we'll go ahead and pick up that key. And then we're gonna head back the way we came. We're going to climb down the staircase to the second level. Then we're going to go through the door to the east and go down the staircase. We're going to run southwest to the jail cells. We're going to try and pickpocket the southern jail guard here. We find the key. We're going to free Godric. And Godric is gone. Now, if you plan on doing Edgar's Ruse later, you can free Edgar, but we don't plan on doing that for our Barrows run. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to teleport to Berthorpe now. Run northeast to Dunstan, and we're going to speak to him, and that will be Troll Stronghold complete. Speaking to Dunstan. And Troll Stronghold is complete. We are now going to teleport to the Self Graveyard and we're going to head back again to the Troll Stronghold. AJR on the Fairy Ring. This time we are going to enter through the back way. Remember guys, keep alking if you haven't been. Very important to keep alking. Makes the end of this so much quicker if you do. Now we're gonna run north and climb up the stairs to get out of the jail. Oh, the stairs. And then we're going to head all the way south. Praying melee so you don't get hit by these trolls. And we're going to enter the room in the southwest corner. We're going to go through. And we're going to go to the north. No, we're going to find, we're going to go all the way to the south, sorry. Oh, sorry, here we go, and speak to Ugg in the southwest. We're going to chat option number one, chat option number three. Start troll romance, chat option number one. Okay, beautiful. Now we're going to go north and talk to Ugga. We are going to use chat option number two. And then go back and speak to Ugg. Teleport to the Warriors Guild with our combat bracelet. And we're going to head towards Tenzing's house. Speak to Tenzing, chat option number four, and chat option number two.
teleport to Berthor. I'm gonna drop this Law Talisman out of my inventory. Don't need that anymore. And we're going to speak to Dunstan. Chat options are gonna be one, two, and one. Chat option one. Then we use the wax on the sled. I'll swamp tar on the bucket of wax first, and then the wax on the sled. Teleport to AJR on the fairy ring again. So hit the Salve Graveyard, and then AJR. Gonna enter through the back end of the Stronghold again. Going to head to the north and we're going to exit out the front door. So climb up the staircase. Exit through the prison door. Head down south. Sorry, head up the second stone staircase, then head down south. And then we'll use the exit. Keeping that melee prayer on and we're going to head around the corner. And then we're gonna head up to the Northwest here, along this path. Keep traveling until we see the Troll Child or the Desert Treasure Quest, if you remember that one. Then we're gonna enter the cave to the West. Running through the cave. Praying melee against these trolls. And we just run all the way up to the exit. And then we're gonna run south until we can equip our sled. And we're gonna ride the slope. Then we're gonna head southwest from where the cutscene ends. And we're gonna pick some rare flowers. Then we're going to teleport to AJR again. So head to the Salve Graveyard. Weed lock, my word. And we're gonna head into the back of the troll stronghold again. And we're gonna return to Ugg. Climbing up the staircase, exiting the door, 
Running melee, running south. Talk to Ugg. And then we go fight Ugg. Talk. Option number one. Yo. How do I safe spot this beast? Okay, I'm going to run around to this NPC. Hopefully it traps him. That does not trap. Okay. Can I trap him around the side of dad? Does that work? It does not. What about this side? Nope. Okay, I'm going to keep running. The UGG safe spot video is unavailable on YouTube. This is not ideal. Well, I'm just going to kite this NPC then. Okay, it's just going to be like a Sarah Diamond fight. I urge you guys to do the same. Just keep running around the arena away from Arg, and he won't be able to hit you. And that's the safe spot. Okay, way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, Arg is defeated. I'm gonna pick up that grimy Marantil, cause fuck him. And then we're gonna teleport back to the cell graveyard and use code AJR. If you haven't killed Arg yet, now's the time to pause the video. But we're gonna head to AJR on the ferry ring. And we're gonna return to Arg. Running down south after we've gone up the stairs. And we're going to speak to Og. That's going to be troll romance completed. I'm going to go ahead and teleport to the Grand Exchange. We're now 40 agility. At the Grand Exchange, we're going to go ahead and bank everything in our inventory. And then we are going to get out coins. We need 10,000 GP. You should already have that in your inventory. We're going to grab the Bark Roll card. We need to grab ourselves a Raw Shark. We need to grab ourselves a Tinderbox. Need to grab ourselves a Draymond branch out of the bank, not the Draymond staff, a branch. We need a knife, a regular staff, a rope, a 
We need a pickaxe. We need an axe. We need one plank. We need a spade. We need leather gloves. We need some stamina potions. We need melee combat gear. So we'll get our scimitar out of the bank and a super combat. We don't have any super combats left. I'm going to buy a few more. Grab 10 of those bad boys. Grab a stamina potion. Get two of those. Rare potion. Two of those. Get a Camelot. Teleport. Grab all of those out. Need an actual Draymond staff this time. And Salve Graveyard Teleports. We already have those in our inventory. Very nice. In a Ring of Dueling. And we need Water Birth Tabs. Okay, now we want to teleport to the fairy ring AJR using the salve graveyard. Going to run north to the mountain camp entrance. We're going to go up the western path around the boulder here. Push the boulder. When you get close to it. Oh, sorry, use the rope on the boulder. We're going to head to the east. And south of Hamal's tent, we're going to dig up some mud. Talk to Hamal the Chieftain. Chat option one. Chat option one. And chat option one. Now we're going to go follow the path to the north. And we see the tall tree. We're going to go ahead and use the mud on the tall tree and then climb it. Going to use our staff on the clump of rocks to pole vault over. Going to use the plank on the flat stone. And walk across. Then we're going to listen at the shining pool. Chat option two. Chat option two. Chat option one. Chat option one. 
And then we're going to head back over to Hamal. Speak to Hamal. Chat option number two. Speak again. Chat option number three. And chat option number one. Speak to Jokal. North of Hamal. Then we're going to teleport to the fairy ring again. AJR on the fairy ring. And we are going to head over towards Relica and search for Savidi. Now he'll be somewhere in between here and Relica. You just have to look around for a little bit. There is Savidi. If you haven't found Savidi, now's the time to pause the video. Speak to Savidi, chat option number two. Then we're going to head into Relica. We're going to speak to Brunt the Chieftain in the long haul. Chat option one. Chat option one. Speak to Brunt again, chat option two, chat option three, chat option one. Chat option number one. I'm gonna to speak to Manny the Reveler inside the bar. Select option number one. Take a beer tankard off the table. We're gonna go talk to Sigley near the entrance of Relica. Speak to Sigley the Huntsman. Chat option one. Chat option one. I believe we need to do that again with an inventory space. So child option one, child option one. There we go, perfect. Now we're going to head northeast to Lanzig's house. I'm gonna drop this prayer potion and sip this stamina potion just for a little bit of inventory space. Where is Lanzig's house? Lan is it east of the long hall with the barrel icon. Okay, there he is. Okay, and now we need to kill this guy a lot. We need to kill this guy to get a liar. And that is a 1 in 17 drop. What I'm going to do is actually teleport to the Grand Exchange and grab my cannon out. 
It's going to make this a lot quicker. With my cannon out, I'm going to teleport to Waterbirth. And take the boat with Jarveld. Back to Relica. And let's set up the cannon. So we're going to head out the back of Lansing's house. Set the cannon up here. Nope, not there. I'm going to set the cannon up here. Nope, not there. We're going to set the cannon up here. That's the exact same spot. Here. That should be right. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. And then we go ahead and grab Lanzig over here. And then we'll drag him over to the double hit spot. We can't get him outside his house. Huh. How about that? Okay. And we just attack him from here then. We got a liar on the second kill. Okay. I got very, very lucky, ladies and gentlemen. You will most likely not do the same. Okay. So if you do not have your liar at this point, which you most likely will not. Sit here and kill Tanzing until you have a liar. Pause the video now until you have the liar. Okay, I'm gonna head to the Ferox Enclave now and put my cannon away and grab my stamina potion and prayer potion back out. Also gonna grab my super combat. Now we are going to head back to Waterbirth. Travel back to Relica with Jarvold. And we're going to speak to Olaf the Bard. Heading to the east. Olaf the Bard. Chat option number one. Then we're going to speak to Blainen, who apparently wanders around near Olaf. Blainen, there he is. Then we need to head northwest and speak to Dron. Where is Dron? There is Dron. Chat options are going to be three, two, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, three, three, one, one, and one. Now we're gonna to teleport to Camelot. We're gonna head over to the Sears Village pub. We're going to speak to the poison salesman. Chat option number two and chat option number one.
Okay, and then we're going to speak to him again. Uh, murder mystery. Chat option number one. Chat option number two. Then we're going to go to the bartender. Talk about Alfred Grimhand's bar brawl. Gonna drop this rope here to open up inventory space. Talk to the bartender again and ask, what do you have? And then option number three for a stew. That is for the candor and diary. Pick that rope back up. Then we're gonna teleport to the duel arena. Take the gnome glider to White Wolf Mountain. Equip the leather gloves and we're going to pick from the thorny bushes. I'm gonna go ahead and equip those rune arrows just so I can take a thorny bush, the white pearl. And we're going to eat the white pearl to get the white pearl seed. Then we're going to teleport to the salve graveyard. Chuck our Draymond staff on and go to code AJR. Gonna head north to the mountain camp. And climb over the rock slide. The guard will let us pass now. Now return to Jockel. Speak to him. After we speak to Jockel, we're going to speak to Amal. Chat option number three. And chat option number one. In the tent south of Hamal, going to use our pickaxe on the rock. And then we're going to teleport to water birth. Go with Javel to Relica. Then we're going to go south of the town. We're going to find the bridge with the council workmen, and we're going to use the beer tanker on them. Get ourselves a cherry bomb, then we're going to head west. We go to this nice little altar here and use a raw shark on it. This will enchant our liar. Then we're going to teleport to water birth again. Actually going to quickly teleport to the Ferox Enclave with my dueling ring here. Sip this stamina and grab another stamina. Quickly go inside and restore my stats and then go back to water birth. Now we'll go back to Relica.
run east. And we're going to enter the long haul through the back end. I'm going to get up on stage. And play the liar. Now we're going to head back outside. I'm going to use the tinderbox on the strange object. And then we're going to use the strange object on the pipe out the back. We're going to enter the long haul. And take a keg of beer off the table. We're going to use our low alcohol keg on the regular keg of beer. Then we're going to talk to Manny the Reveler. Chat option number one. Then we're going to head northwest. And we're going to speak to Sigmund, the merchant. Chat option number one. Now we're gonna to speak to the sailor on the large docks. Ask about the mer merchant trial, chat option number one. Then we'll go speak to Olaf the Bard, east of the long haul. Chat option number one. Then we're gonna head west and go speak to Ursa. Ursa in the clothes shop. Option number one. Then we're gonna go speak to Brunt, the chieftain. Speak to Brunt, the chieftain in the long haul. Ask about the mountain camp. Ask about anything else. We're gonna ask about the merchant's trial. Okay, now we're gonna ask about the mountain camp again. Then we're going to exit Relica and head towards the east. We need to find Savidi again. There he is. And we've given him the safety guarantee. We are now gonna find the Drogon. Being guided southwest. Still southwest. Still southwest. It's gonna be over the bridge. Now yours will most likely be in a different location. There is the dragon. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna take that on right now. Hot up. Ray melee. Now yours might be in a different location. So once you've found it, kill it. If you haven't killed it by now, now's the time to pause the video until you do find it.
And the dragon is down. We're now going to run up and speak to Sigley. Ask about the merchant's trial. Speak again. Ask about becoming a Fremenic. And given the talisman. Need to speak to Skullgrimmon. North of the Long Hall. Ask about the merchant's trial. Speak to the fisherman. Just to the west. Ask about the merchant's trial. Then we're going to head south. Going to speak to Swenson the Navigator. Ask about the merchant's trial. Then speak again and ask about becoming a Fremenic. Then we're going to go down the ladder. The portals are as follows, south, west, east, north, south, east, north. Climb up the ladder. Thank you to Swenson. And we leave his house. We now speak to Peer the Seer. Ask about the merchant's trial. Speak to Thorvald. Ask about the merchant's trial. Speak to Manny in the long haul. Ask about the merchant's trial. Speak to Thor of the barkeep. Ask about the merchant's trial. Then we'll speak to Ask Aladdin outside. Ask about the merchant's trial, and we'll pay him 5,000 coins. <laughs> Go back and speak to Thor of the Barkeep. Ask about the merchant's trial. Speak to Manny the Reveler. Ask about the merchant's trial. I'm gonna speak to Thorvald the Warrior again. Ask about the merchant's trial. Speak to Peer the Seer. Ask about the merchant's trial. 
Speak to Swenson the Navigator. Speak to the Fisherman. Ask about the Merchant's Trial. Speak to Skullgrimmon. Going to speak to Sigley. Ask about the merchant's trial. Speak to Brunt the Chieftain. Ask about anything else. About the merchant's trial. Head to Ursa. Ask about the merchant's trial. Gonna head over to Olaf. Actually gonna quickly teleport to Ferox Enclave again. Need another stamina potion. Don't want to be walking around, that's for sure. I'm gonna grab a ring of wealth while I'm here. And a stamp pot. Redo our run. Teleport to Waterbirth Island. This is a great update, the Waterbirth Island tabs. I love them. And we'll go to Relica. Head on over to Olaf. Speak to Olaf the Bard. About the Merchant's Trial. Back to the Sailor. Talk to the Sailor. Ask about the Merchant's Trial. And then we head back over to Sigmund the Merchant. There we go, that is the trial. Now we're gonna head over to Pier the Seer. At this point, we're gonna drop all of the items that we want to use during the Thorvald fight. Um, so that's gonna be the Draymond Branch, uh, Prayer Potion, um, Super Combat, um, and some Jewelry. So we want our Glory and our Ring of Wealth, but we can't use them right now. So what we're gonna do is just drop them uh, next to Pier the Seer. So drop the Draymond Branch, the Knife, the Jewelry, the Potions, and then we're going to deposit all our items with Pier the Seer. We'll do a simple test. Yes. There we go. So Pier the Seer has taken all our stuff. We have these items on the ground, which I'm going to redrop. We're going to head over to Thorvald the Warrior. Speak to Thorvald. Option number one. And then we're gonna climb down the ladder. Go ahead and use our knife on the Draymond branch. Use our super combat and get ready for the fight. Where is he? There we go. So we just have to kill Korishai the Deathless. 
three times. There's one. I'm going to start taking damage here because I want to die quickly to the final form. I'll take damage until I get to low hit points. Kill the third form. Down to nice and low health for the final fight. And for the final fight, just allow it to kill you. You won't actually die. There we go. And then we're gonna climb down the ladder. Return to Pier, to Pier the Seer. Speak to him. Chow option number one. Then we're going to enter the western door on his house. There is a riddle on it. Let's read the riddle. Now, my first is in water, which is what I've got. The code is time. If your first line is, my first is in mage, the code will be mind, M-I-N-D. If your first line is, my first is in ta, then your code will be tree, T-R-E-E. -E. My first is in the well is life, L-I-F-E. My first is in fish is Fire, F-I-R-E, and my first is in wizard, that is W-I-N-D, wind. So for this one, mine is time. I'm gonna go ahead and solve the riddle. Remember, you have to click these very slowly, otherwise the game gets confused as to what it's actually on. Okay, time. And we'll enter, go up the stairs. Now we're gonna search the Southwestern cupboard. Find a bucket. We're going to study the unicorn's head. Gonna study the bull's head. We need to open the southern chest. Search that. And then we're going to search the northwestern bookcase. Use the red herring on the cooking range. Use the sticky red goop on the wooden disc. Climb down the eastern ladder.
use the two disks on the abstract manual. Line back upstairs, use the bucket on the tap. Use the full bucket on the jug. Use the drug, a jug on the drain. Use the two fifths bucket on the jug. Then use the bucket on the tap. Use the full bucket on the two thirds full jug. Then use the four fifths bucket on the northwestern chest. Fill the vase with water. Use the lid on the vase. Use the vase on the table that is frozen. Use the frozen key on the cooking range. And then leave via the eastern door. Then we're going to go speak to Brunt the Chieftain. Ask about anything else. And that is Fremnik Trials complete. Now we need to get out of here. So I'm going to go to Last Man Standing and teleport there. That's a lot of levels. Gonna run over to the bank and grab out a ring of wealth and then head to the Grand Exchange. Now at the Grand Exchange, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Staff of Fire, my Tome of Fire, get my Zeretian robes back out, my Arty Cloak, put all that on. Get the rune arrows out, saturated heart, or your magic potion if that's what you're using. Need the nature runes and the coins. Fantastic. Now, we need to get out of the bank a staff. We need to use the grand exchange for an empty pot. Just a pot, it's not called empty pot, just called pot. Scroll down and find it. There it is. We need the plank back out of the bank. We need an ax. We need a stamina potion. And we need melee combat gear. We also need teleports to Camelot. And we need fairy rings. So let's grab a Draymond staff and those cell graveyard teleports. Let's go ahead and teleport to AJR. Then we're going to enter the mountain camp. Climbing over the rocks. Going to run through and speak to Hamal. Chat option number two. Then we're going to run to the north. Climbing the tall tree.
using the staff on a clump of rocks. Using the plank on the flat stone. And listening at the shining pool. Now I'm going to go ahead and cross the flat stone without putting the plank down and that'll swim us to the northern shore. Running to the east. Chop down the trees. Enter the cave and follow the cave to the Kendall. Talk to the Kendall. Chat one. Chat two. Chat three. Chat two. Chat two. And chat one. And now we're going to take out the Kendall. There we go. Go ahead and take the bear head and then we're going to pick up the corpse of the woman. Once we have the corpse of the woman, return and speak to Hamal. Actually don't need the bear head, so I'm just going to drop it. Heading back to Hamar. Speak to Hamal, chat option one. Chat option two, sorry, chat option one. Now we need to gather five muddy rocks. One to the south and then four to the north. Then we're going to head to the muddy tree near the lake. We're going to speak to Ragnar. Chat option one, then return to the shining pool. Uh, bury the corpse on the island. Use a muddy rock on the burial mound. That is mountain daughter complete. Let's teleport to Camelot. In Camelot, we're going to head northwest to Sinclair Mansion.
I'm gonna go through the gate northwest and we're going to investigate the sacks in the shed. I'm gonna go ahead and take three of these. We're gonna head inside the front doors. We're going to take the pungent pot and the criminal's dagger from the eastern room. Then we're going to investigate the smashed window. It's a red thread, so we're going to investigate the barrels belonging to Bob and Carol. If yours is green, investigate the barrels with Anna and David. And if yours is blue, search the ones that belong to Elizabeth and Frank. So for red, I need to do Bob and Carol. Let's go upstairs. There is Carol. We're gonna search Carol's barrel. And then we need to find Bob's. Where's Bob? Bobby. Bob's barrel is downstairs. There we go. Search Bob's barrel. Head to the kitchen in the northwest corner. Fill the pot with flour. Then use it on the dagger. Then use the dagger on the flypaper. Then fill the pot again. Use it on one of the silver items. Then use the silver item on the flypaper. Then fill the pot again. Use it on the other silver item and then use that on the flypaper. Then use Bob's print on the unknown print or whoever you use has. And the fingerprints are an exact match. If they're not, use the other one on it. Talk to the person whose fingerprints matched. Bob is outside. Where are you at though? Where did Bob be? There he is. So we speak to Bob. Chat option number four. Search the item they say they use the poison on. That is the beehive near the cow pen for me. For you, if it's Anna, it's gonna be the compost heap. For Frank, it's gonna be the family crest. For David, it's gonna be the spider's nest upstairs between the two rooms with three beds in each of them. For Carol, it's gonna be the kitchen drain west of the front door. And for Elizabeth, it's gonna be the fountain. Once you've done that, speak to the guard outside and murder mystery will be complete. Chat option number three. And there we go, murder mystery is done. If you haven't done murder mystery by now, pause the video and go back through all the steps that I've just mentioned. If you have, let's teleport to the Grand Exchange. Let's go ahead and put everything away in the bank again. Now we're gonna need ourselves some garlic. Gonna need a fishing rod. Gonna need a spade. We're gonna need three jute seed. We need a rake. Seed dibber. Red vine worms. 
which we don't have. We'll have to get those on the way. Need a stamina potion. Go ahead and grab two of those. Need a combat bracelet. And we need a Draymond Staff and the Salve Graveyard Teleports. We're going to teleport to Fairy Ring ALS this time. I'm going to go through and dig up some red vine worms. There we go. We're going to run east and leave through the gate. And we're going to run north and plant three jute seeds at this farming patch. Plant those three jute seeds. That's for the Kandarin Diary. And then we're going to teleport to Cathaby. Don't have any Cathaby tabs in our inventory. We're going to teleport back to the Grand Exchange and grab those now. Grab your Cathaby tabs out and teleport to Cathaby. We're going to run northeast. And we're going to speak to Vestry here. We're going to use chat option one, chat option two, chat option three, chat option one, chat option one. I'm going to teleport to the ranging guild with our combat bracelet. I'm going to enter the fishing contest area. Use garlic on the pipes to the northwest. We're going to fish at the spot. Sorry, we're going to pay Bonzo 5 GP. And we're going to fish at the northernmost spot. I'm going to speak to Bonzo, ask if this fish, fish is big enough to win. Wait until the contest is over. Teleport to Cathaby again. And we're going to speak to the dwarf. And that is fishing contest complete. I'm going to teleport to the Grand Exchange now. And at this point, we need to train our fishing. We need to get it to 7,500 XP below 48. So at this point, we're going to bank everything in our inventory. And I'm going to go ahead and buy myself a fly fishing rod. I'm going to get myself 2,000 feathers. Then I'm going to get myself the Kebet Claws and some Van Braces. That is everything I need to do the three ticking. I'm going to get my skills necklace out and I'm going to teleport to the Fishing Guild. And then... 
run west to the fishing spots over here. There we go. Now, I'm gonna be three ticking this once again. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but I would recommend it. Just get yourself up to 47 fishing, 7,500 XP away from 48.
I'm actually going to head to the Grand Exchange now and buy myself some fishing potions. I didn't even think about this before, but fishing potions are going to make this so much quicker. Get myself another Ring of Wealth out, another Skills Necklace. Chuck those two on. Chuck those two away, and then we'll just buy a whole bunch of fishing potions. Head back to the skills necklace, fishing guild, and we'll head back there. Just want to be absolutely constantly potted here, because it's going to make such a big difference at the start.
Okay, I am now 7,500 XP away from 48 fishing. This is the point where you want to stop. If you are not at this point, now is the time to pause the video. Okay, we now need to train to 30 cooking, so I'm gonna to head to the Grand Exchange. <clears throat> And I'm gonna buy myself around 300 raw Karam ones. I'm gonna take those raw Karam ones, put everything in the bank, and grab myself a games necklace. And then we're gonna to head to Berthorp. Now, I am personally going to be one ticking these Karamba ones. If you don't know how to one tick or you prefer to just AFK, just go ahead and wait until I finish off these and then pause the video. But for me, I'm going to be one ticking these Karamba ones. Okay, I have 30 cooking. If you do not have 30 cooking right now, now is the time to pause the video and get yourself 30 cooking and then restart the video. We are gonna go ahead and head to the Grand Exchange now. Bank of our items, get out our saturated heart, get out our rune arrows, get out our nature runes and our coins. Okay, at the Grand Exchange, we're going to get ourselves a small fishing net. Get ourselves a pestle and mortar. Got to get my fire staff back out of the bank because I don't have it on me anymore. Need to grab ourselves a couple of stamina potions. I'm going to go three for this one. Um, then we're going to get prayer potions. Grab two. And then I'm just going to grab myself a couple of sharks just in case. Then I'm going to bring my Kebet Claws and my Leather Van Braces for three ticking. This is optional, guys. You don't have to do this, but it does make things a little bit quicker. And we're going to need our Self Graveyard Teleports and our Draymon stuff. Fantastic. Let's get this party started, shall we? We're going to teleport to the Salve Graveyard. I'm going to use the Fairy Ring. And we're going to go to code CKR. And we're going to run north to the Taibo Wanai Village. And we're going to speak to Trifitus. We're going to use chat option number three, chat option number one, and chat option number one. Now we're going to head down to the southwest. We're going to go to this marshy jungle vine here, and we're going to attempt to get some snake weed. Now, if you're not three ticking, just AFK it. If you are, you're going to get it a lot quicker. And there we go. If you don't have your snake weed yet, now's the time to pause the video until you do. If you do, we're going to head back to Trifitus. 
clean the snake weed in your inventory. And we're going to speak to Trifidus. Give the snake away with option one. And then we are going to go to the north. Northeast. And we're going to head up to this symbol up here and we're going to search the palm tree and get ourselves an adragal. Clean the adragal and then head back to Trifidus. Speak again, option number one, and then we're gonna head to the southeast. In here, we're gonna search the empty rocks. Apparently we're not gonna search the empty rocks. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna to go to the west now and figure out what's going on there. I might have not gone through the chat dialogue all the way through. We'll head to the west and get the Seto foil instead. That is going to be in this scorched earth right here. There we go. Do have the Seto foil. Potentially that in a different order for you guys. So if that is the case, um, then you can just go in that different order. My order was the Adrigal, then the Seto foil. I'm gonna go ahead and use that on Trifidus. Okay, so it is in a specific order. I think it's the same order for everyone because that's the same order it is in the guide. So Adrigal, then Cito Foil, then Valencia Moss. We're going to go to the Valencia Moss in the mine down here. Grab ourselves the herb, clean that, head back to Trifidus. Speak to Trivitus. And then we have to go find the last, which will be to the northeast. And we have to go down this dungeon sign here. Going to head inside the rocks. And then we're gonna head down past the joggers till we see the fungus covered wall. Once again, I'm gonna be three ticking this if you're not. I'm gonna be three ticking this if I can click on the wall at any point. That click box is so small. There we go, I have the herb. If you do not have the herb at this point, now is the time to pause the video until you do get it. 
Once you do have it, teleport to the self graveyard. And we're going to run over and use the fairy ring to CKR. We're going to head north and fish one Karamwanji. Use the Pestle and Mortar on the Karamwanji when you get it. There we go. And now we need 20 Karamwanji in total. Beautiful. Then we're going to head north. Back into Taibo Wano Village. We're going to go speak to Trifidus, and this is going to complete the jungle potion quest. There we go. Now we're going to head west. We're going to go up the ladder. We're going to speak to Tim Freiku. Chat option one. Chat option three. We're going to wait some time. Chow option two. Chow option one. Then we're going to run north. Going to speak to Lubufu. Chat option number one. I'm going to speak again. Chat option number one. Chat option number four. Chat option number two. Chat option number one. Chat option number three. Chat option number four. And chat option number one. And then we speak again, give him the 20 raw Karam Wanji. Then we speak again, chat option number one. Speak again, chat option number two. Speak again, chat option number three. And speak one more time, chat option number one. Fantastic. Now, we need to get ourselves some more items. Go ahead and put the items in our inventory away. We need a Karam Wound Vessel. We'll put a Karam Wanji in it. And we need an empty vessel. So we're going to need to go back to Lubufu there. That was uh, not in the guide. Remember that. We're going to need our Karam Wanji paste. We're going to need a pestle and mortar. We're going to need a knife. We're going to need a steel spear. We need five raw Karambolans. We need a poison Karambolan. We're gonna need a tinderbox. We need two regular logs. We need some Joga bones. We need seaweed. And we need an agility potion.
Now, if you don't already have a poison Karam wine, go ahead and light a fire. Use a raw Karam wine on the fire. Cook a poison one. Hopefully not burn it. Hopefully not burn, burn three of them. There you go. So you get a poison Karam wine. Then you're going to go ahead and use your pestle and mortar on the poison Karam wine. And then use the Karam wine paste on the steel spear. Then we're going to go ahead and teleport to Karamja with a glory. So we need to get magic combat runes out the bank as well before we go. Let's get your death runes and uh, uh, air runes. You want to get yourself a glory. Grab ourselves a full charge glory and more stamina potions. I'm going to grab three of those. So let's use our glory to go to Karamja now. We're going to go ahead and pick a banana from one of the trees and then use the knife on it. We're going to run south to the pub. We're going to talk to Zambo. Or we're going to trade Zambo, actually. We're going to buy a Karamjan rum. Then we're going to use our banana slices on the Karamjan rum. Then we're going to teleport to the fairy ring, so solve graveyard. Run over to the fairy ring and we're going to use code DKP. DKP. Talk to Tear Dish. We're going to use the loaded vessel on him and we're going to use chat option number one. After he fishes his fish. Then we are going to go to the fairy ring to the west and we're going to use code CKR. We're going to head northeast to the mine and speak to Tamayu. Speak to some of you. Then speak again and use chat option three and one. Then we're going to go ahead and use our Steel Spear KP on Tamayu. Then we're going to use the Agility Potion 4 on Tamayu. Now we speak again. Chat option number 3. Then we will kill a monkey with magic. Grab the monkey corpse. Go back over and use the monkey corpse on Tamayu. Then we use our seaweed on the monkey skin. And then we're going to teleport to the salve graveyard again. Using code CKR. We need to run to the north and we need to go get another empty vessel.
speak to Labufu and say chat option number three. And then chat option number two. Now we're going to teleport to the self graveyard again. And we're going to use error ring code CKR once again. Heading to the south. Climb up these rocks. Now, in order to never fail this, we walk slightly across. Hmm. We need to find something to click on. So we're going to attack a scorpion with melee and then open an interface. So attack the scorpion and then open an interface and you'll never fail. There we go. Then we're going to speak to Tinsei. Then we're going to light a fire. We're going to use the Joga bones on the fire. Okay, apparently we need to speak to Tinsei first. Then speak again. Hopefully this fire stays lit. He needs a seaweed sandwich. We'll speak to him again. There we go. Then he wants burnt joga bones. So now we know how to cook them. Why can I not burn these Joga bones? I'm so unbelievably confused. I think we might have to go kill the Joga ourselves. In which case, we're going to teleport to the Grand Exchange. I'm going to get another log out of my inventory. Uh, sorry, out of my bank. I don't know why I can't burn the Joga bones there. But we're going to travel to the Grand Tree. Oh, okay. Well, that explains a lot. You actually have to use. <laughs> okay, listen, guys. We're going to go back to the self graveyard. All right. This is just me being stupid. This is just me being stupid. We're going to go back. And it's going to be okay. CKR and the fairy ring again. Climb back over. We'll pretend this never happened. Speak to Tinsei. Oh no. We're going to go ahead and use our Tinder box on the Joga Bones. There we go. And that's going to light a fire. We wait until they burn. Oh, and now we need another log. Oh, lucky I have one in my inventory. It's okay. Let's wait for these to burn. Fantastic. Then we're going to use the Karamwanji paste on the burnt Joga bones. Then we're going to light the log. Then we're going to use the pasty Joga bones. And now we have marinated Jabones. Speak to Tinsei. 
option one. Then we'll use the empty Quran wine vessel. We'll speak to him again. Use your empty Quran wine vessel on him for nothing interesting happens. I don't like this quest. It seems I need to speak to Tia Desh again. Back to the self graveyard. We're going to use DKP. I've made this a lot longer than it needs to be, so I apologize. But at least we're all in this together. Tiadesh, speak to me. Ah, there it is. Now we use CKR. One small mistake can cost you five minutes of time. It's kind of crazy. Speak to Tensei. Use the Karambuan vessel on Tensei. There we go. And we will receive the manual. Then we're gonna go back to DKP. Use the crafting manual on tier dish. Then we head back to CKR. We're going to head back to Taibo One Eye Village. Head back upstairs. Speak to Tim Freku. Chat option number two. Then we are going to head down south into Taibo Wanai Village. And we're gonna to speak to the three brothers and get our, uh, get our XP rewards. Speak to Tiadesh. Learn the fishing technique. Then we're gonna go speak to Tinsei. We are going to learn the cooking technique, and then we're going to speak to Hamayu and get some strength XP. There we go. Now that we have all of that, we can head back to the Grand Exchange. And at this point, we need to train our cooking. Personally, I am going to be using one tick Karam wands again. Uh, you don't have to do that, you can just AFK it but I'm gonna be one ticking 4,000 raw Karambuans at the Rogue's Den. Karambuans, and we buy 4,000 of those, it costs one mil. And then I'm just gonna to head to the Rogue's Den.
And here we are. As I said, if you'd like to AFK your cooking, you can do jugs of wine or the best fish you can cook, whatever you prefer. Uh, but obviously the fastest method is going to be one ticking those Karamb wines is what I'm going to do.
Prime energy.
Okay, 428,500 experience. So that is where we're going to stop. Like I said, if you're not one ticking Karam ones, very likely you are not at that yet. If you are not at 428,500 cooking XP right now, is the time to pause the video because we are going to move on. Let me go ahead and teleport to the Grand Exchange. Now we need a journal. We're going to need coins. Let's get all our nature runes and alks back out. Saturated hearts, rune arrows. Perfect. Okay, we are also going to need a sapphire amulet. We're going to need our ghost speak amulet. Let me get my fire staff back out. We're going to need a stamina potion. We'll grab a few of those. And we need a necklace of passage. And we need Ardi tabs and Khazard tabs. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a few more Khazard tabs because we're almost out of those. Okay, so we are going to teleport to Gazan. And we're going to take the charter ship to Port Fat Asmus. We're going to head west and we're going to speak to Drolak at the general store. There is Drolac. Put our Ghost Speak amulet on. Then we're going to head northeast. We're going to speak to Melina. Then we'll head back and speak to Drolak one more time. And he will give us a scroll. Then we're gonna teleport to Joral's outpost. Going to speak to Joral. Watch the cutscene. Now we're gonna teleport to Artie. Going to run to the west. Head inside the castle. Head upstairs. Speak to King Lathis. Chat option number one. Then we'll teleport back to the outpost. Speak to Joral, and this will be making history complete. Fantastic. Now we're going to head back to the Grand Exchange. Once again, bank everything in the inventory. 
Uh, we need to grab ourselves a hammer. We need the ghost speak amulet, which should still be equipped from the last quest. We need a silver bar. We need three bronze wire. We need a needle. We need five thread. We need a spade. In an air rune. Already have air runes in the bank. We'll just grab one out. We need one air rune, one law rune. We need combat gear, so we'll get all of our death runes out. We need a prayer potion. Go ahead and grab one of those. Grab a shark or two. Stamina potions. Grab two of those. We need Fane Constraints Castle Teleports. We need Felidor Teleports. Uh, we need Salve Tabs and a Draymon Staff. And that is everything. We're going to go ahead and teleport to Canifus Pub via the Salve Graveyard. Inside the pub, we are going to telegrab the pickled brain off of the table. Then we're going to talk to Vanstrom Klaus in the corner. Chat option number two. Oh, sorry. It's gonna be chat option number one. Chat option number four. Speak again. I'm just gonna go through all the chat options here. Uh, chat option number two. And chat option one. Chat option number three. We're gonna teleport to Fenkin Strange Castle. And to the castle. Go through the doors, and we're going to speak to Dr. Fenkenstrain. Chat option number one. Chat option number four. Chat option number four. Now we're going to open the door, go to the eastern side, climb up the staircase. Going to enter the room with the bookcase. Search the bookcase for the handy maggot avoidance techniques. And we receive a triangle shape. Now we're going to head to the opposite side of this floor. And we're going to go into the room with the fireplace. Search the bookcase or the joy of grave digging, and we'll get a second triangle. Use the triangles on each other, that'll give us a star, then head back to the ground floor, we're gonna go to the northern garden. Leave our ghost speak amulet on, and we're gonna to speak to the gardener. Chat option number two. Then we're going to the salve graveyard, or the fairy ring. We're going to use the fairy ring code ALQ. And then we are going to dig. Where are we digging? On a few steps east and two steps south, you'll see a small grave mark with a cross. There it is. Dig at the grave to get a decapitated head. 
get the decapitated head. Use your pickled brain on the decapitated head. Then we're going to run northwest to the four gravestones. Use the star amulet on the most eastern gravestone here. Push the grave and we will enter. We need to kill one of the experiments. The level 51 experiment. And we'll take the key. We're gonna follow the northwestern path. Gonna go through the gate here. And we'll climb up the ladder. Now we're going to dig at each one of these graves. And then we're gonna to teleport to Fink and Strange Castle. Going to head inside. Speak to Dr. Frankenstein. Chapter number one. And then speak to him again. Gonna head north into the garden. Speak to the ghost. Chapter number two. We're gonna take three canes off the pile. We're gonna head inside the shed and search the cupboard for a brew. Then we're gonna use all of the canes on the broom for an extended brush. We're gonna head up the western staircase. We're going to enter the room with the fireplace and use your extended brush on the fireplace to get the conductor mold. Then we're going to teleport to Felidor. Going to head to the furnace to the east and use the silver bar to get a lightning rod. Teleport back to Fenkenstrain's castle. Climb up the western stairs again. And to the southern room. Climb up the ladder. We're going to use the lightning rod on the conductor. Teleport back to Fenkenstrain's castle. Head back inside. Talk to Dr. Fenkenstrain. Then we're gonna head back upstairs. We're gonna head into the room to the north.
Gonna climb up the ladder. Speak to the monster. Teleport back to Fenconstrain's castle. Head inside, and we're going to pickpocket Dr. Fenconstrain, and that's going to complete the quests. Perfect. So now we're going to teleport to the Grand Exchange. Put everything in the bank. Fantastic. We need a Druid pouch with nine charges. So you're going to have to buy yourself nine Mortmire fungi. We need steel longsword. Need two regular steel swords. Need a steel mace. We need a steel warhammer. And a steel dagger. We need 225 steel nails. We need six planks. We need a hammer. Need a stamina potion. Grab two of those. Need a prayer potion. We need combat gear. I'm gonna go ahead and get my runes out. And we need Morton Scrolls. We're going to teleport to Morton. Going to head east to the boat. We're going to speak to Cyreg Paddlehorn. Chat option number two. Chat option number two. Chat option number three. Oh no. Uh, how do I get around this? There we go. Option number two. Option number two. Option number three. Option number three. And option number one. Go ahead and board the boat. We're going to head north and climb the tree. We're going to repair the broken bit bridge. And cross the bridge. We're going to speak to Kerpoil Floyd. And we need to be careful with our answers. Okay. So we're going to chat option one. First question, who is the youngest member of the Marek? The youngest member of the Marek is Ivan Strom. 
Second question, what is the name of the boatman who helps the Marek? That is Cyreg Paddlehorn. Third question, I didn't see the question there, but the answer is Sani Pillu. That question is, who is the only female member of the Marek? Now, the other questions are, who is the leader of the Marek? That is Veliath Hertz. Who is the scholar of the Marek? That is Paul Maffey Third Degris. Uh, who is rumored, what family is rumored to rule over Mauritania? That is Draken. And what does Me Marek mean? And that means hidden in Maya. That is the answer to all those questions. Whoa, I got one of the questions wrong. So we're gonna board the boat again and run that one back. Cross the bridge again. Okay, now let's try that one more time. Cupel Foyd. Who is the youngest member of the Marek? That is Ivan Strom. What vampire family rules over Mar Mauritania? That is Draken. What is the name of the boatman who helps the Marek? That is Cyreg Paddlehorn. Ah, I clicked on pedal bone last time. That's why I got it wrong. Okay, so then we're going to enter the hideout through the back. Opening the wooden doors. We're going to run north and squeeze past the stalagmite. Uh, wait. Squeeze past the stalagmite in the recess to the north. I guess we just go into this cave entrance, right? No, nope. must be this one. There we go. Now we're going to speak to Veliev until the chat options appear. Where is Veliev Hertz? There he is. Talk to everyone in the room. Don't have to go through any of the chat options. Speak to Veloff again. Chat option three. Chat option five. Chat option one. And here comes the skeletal hellhound. Go ahead and kill the Skeletal Hellhound. Inspector Valley of Hertz again. Chow option three. Chow option number five. Never mind. Chow option number three. So we're going to leave the cave we're in. Going to head to the north. Push the wall. Climb up the ladder. And we're going to run north into the pub. 
And we're going to speak to the stranger who previously was Van Strom Klaus. And that is in search of the Marek. Now we're going to need to teleport to the Grand Exchange. We're going to need to empty our inventory for this one of everything. We need to grab our coins back out so we can buy ourselves some bones. We need 25 unnoted bones. And we need the two previous keys from Demon Slayer. So we'll get our keys and we need the silver light key and the silver light key. Then we need a necklace of passage. We'll equip that one. We need a ring of dueling and we're going to equip that one. Uh, we'll actually just go with a ring of wealth. We only need it to bank, which we already have on. And then we need teleports to Varrock. So we'll teleport to the wizard's tower. I'm going to climb the stairs in the tower. I'm going to speak to Wizard Triborn. Chat option number one. Chat option number three. Chat option number two. Speak again. Chat option number one. Then we're going to teleport back to the Grand Exchange. Grab myself a new Ring of Wealth. Now for this one, we're going to need a pickaxe. We need the three keys for Demon Slayer. We need a Rune Scimitar, a Super Combat. We need a fully charged Combat Bracelet. We'll equip. And Varrock teleports, which we already have. I'm going to go ahead and get my nature runes back out. Uh, my rune arrows. And the saturated heart. And we'll also go ahead and grab the coins back out. Always want to have those coins on us just in case. Now we're going to go ahead and teleport to Varrock. We're going to return to Sir Prizen in the castle. Speak to Sir Prizen. And he's going to give us silver light. We're going to teleport to the Champions Guild. And we're going to run northeast into the Stone Circle. And we're going to kill Delrith. Now remember, this is when you need your incantation. I have that prepared. to avoid these dark wizards. And down goes Delrith. Now, my incantation was Abar. Camarinthum. Perchai. Garbindo. Kalam. Whatever yours is, you should have a screenshot of it. So make sure you use that incantation correctly. Then it gets sucked down into the vortex. And Demon Slayer is complete. We're going to run to the east here. We're going to go mine some iron ore. No longer need that incantation. So you can get rid of that off your computer. For me, I'm now able to turn my PC off after three days. Gonna mine some iron ore here. There we go. Now we're gonna teleport back to the Grand Exchange. Reset our inventory. 
put everything away. Grab myself a silver bar. I need a silver light. Need a strange implement. Should still be in the bank. I need the black mushroom ink, the black dye. A small fishing net. And we need to buy ourselves a mystic hat, the black version. We need the mystic top, the black version as well. And the mystic bottom. Or the black version. We're gonna equip those now. We can wear them. The Zeratian robes are now retired. We're going to bring a Rune Scimitar. We're going to bring a Super Combat. Stamina Potions. Grab two of those. Three of those. Rare Potions. Grab two of those. Shark. I'm going to grab two of those. Need a Necklace of Passage. Which I believe we already have equipped. Uh, Felidor Teleports. And an Amulet of Glory. Teleport to Al Karid. We're going to head west to the bank. We're going to speak to Father Reem. Start the Shadow of the Storm quest. Then we're going to head south and we're going to catch some anchovies with our small fishing net. Perfect. Then we're going to teleport to the Eagle's Ear with the Necklace of Passage. Run southeast to Uza. Once here, we're going to speak to Father Batten. Chat option number one. Chat option number three. Chat option number one. Then we're going to have to climb down the stairs into the dungeon. We're going to use the black mushroom dye on silver light to get dark light. Equip dark light. And speak to evil Dave. Chat option two and chat option one. Speak to Denolf and use chat option number four and take note of the incantation. Once again, you can just screenshot this one, save it on your computer. But we're gonna be using this one a bit quicker than we did last time. We're going to speak to Jennifer. Chat option number two. We need to speak to Matthew. Chat option number three. Teleport to Felidor. Head to the furnace. We're going to smelt a demonic sigil. Teleport to the Eagle's Eerie again. Head back to Uza 
and speak to the clay golem. Speak to the clay golem. Chat option number three. Then we're going to search the kilns around Uza. Or a book. We find the book. Yours might not be here. It might be in a different one. So just walk around Uza until you find it. <clears throat> Read the book all the way through. And then we'll take it to Matthew. Speak to Matthew again. Now we have to wait for the ritual to begin, I believe. Yep, speak to Matthew again and the ritual commence. Then you take the empty spot in the circle. Click chant on your demonic sigil and recite the incantation that was told to you on your screenshot. Mine is Camarinthium, Taran, Nahudu, Agrithna, Kaldar. Yours will be different. Whatever it is, that's what you need to say. Wait until the cutscene ends. Then take the sigil off the ground. We're going to exit the portal. Take the demonic sigil. Speak to Evil Dave, chat option two. Talk to Father Baden outside. Talk to Father Reen. Chat option number three. Use this strange implement on the golem. And give the golem the sigil. Ah. Oh, speak to the golem. Chat option number three. Then use the strange implement. Then give what is happening. Okay, cool. You just have to speak to him again. Okay. Now we're going to enter the portal. Speak to Matthew again. Let me chat option number one. Once again, take the empty spot in the circle. Chant on your demonic sigil and now recite your incantation backwards. So mine is going to be Keldar, Agrithna, Nahudu, Taran, Camarinthium. That is going to summon the demon. Down goes Matthew. And now we're going to kill Agrithar. 
Now you can safe spot this or flinch by standing around the corner. I'd recommend just praying melee, standing next to the boss, using your food. If you don't have enough food, that's when you can start flinching. You have to be stood next to the boss when it dies. And there it goes down. We're going to be using our XP rewards in ranged. And there we go. Shadow of the Storm is complete. Now at this point, we're going to go to the Grand Exchange and we need to train up to 48 mining. Let me go ahead and bank everything in my inventory. I believe I can already do sandstone. Yep, at level 35. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself a pickaxe out the bank. I'm going to get my desert robes. Put everything away. Equip that. I'm going to grab a couple of stamina potions. Also going to get my coins back out. I'm going to buy myself some water skins. Definitely don't need 20, but... Get some water skins. Got the stamina potions. Grab a few more stamina potions. And then I'm going to grab myself a glory. I think I already have one equipped. I do. Beautiful. Now we need to train at, um, train to 48 mining. Now you can um, AFK this if you'd like, but I am going to opt for the sandstone method, which is going to be faster than iron. So I'm going to teleport to Al Karid. Once again, if you'd like, just AFK this, but uh, I'm going to be doing the fastest method. I need to quickly go to the bank and get my Kebit claws out. So I'll grab my Kebit Claws and my Van Braces and I'm going to be three ticking the granite. Sorry, the sandstone. I'm going to take the ferry here with Ferryman Southwood. And we're going to exit out the east side. Going through the Shanty Pass. Oh, I need to go to a bank and grab myself a Shanty Pass. Bank is just over here, thankfully. Grab the Shanty Pass, exit to the east. And we're going to proceed regardless, heading to the north. And we're going to head into the quarry. Now we need to train to 48 mining. So once we get to 45, we can use the granite mine. But for now, we're going to use the sandstone. It's as though this guy's enjoying himself right now. Of worlds. And here we go.
starting to think that this isn't quicker than uh, iron. So I am just going to go train on iron, reticking the iron in Artie. I'm bring my nature runes as well because I can superheat in between rocks, put all the water skins away. I'm gonna grab my Draymond stuff and a self graveyard teleport. Going to teleport to the Legends Guild. I believe it's BLR. Just going to quickly actually get some stamina out of the bank. And then head back. Now we're going to jump in this spot over here and mine some iron.
This is the most annoying fucking gourmet emblem I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm gonna have to hop worlds because this piece of shit is right here.
There we are, 48 mining for me. Once again, if you do not have 48 mining at this point, you've opted to AFK. Now is the time to pause the video and get 48 mining because we are going to be moving on. Okay, I'm gonna to teleport to the Grand Exchange. At the Grand Exchange, we're gonna to want to empty our inventory out again. I'm gonna go ahead and get my Staff of Fire back out, get those nature runes, get all those elks back out. Rune arrows, saturated hearts, and the coins as we always take. Now on top of that, you're gonna want a gold bar. We need a lit candle, which we should have in the bank still. We need a pickaxe, which we just put away. We need some dragon bones. We need two ropes. We need a Guam potion unfinished. We need a pestle and mortar, which we should have in the bank. We need some bat bones. We need a knife. We need a death rune. We need combat gear. I'm gonna go with magic for this. Grab a new ring of wealth out the bank. Grab our death runes out the bank as well. We need stamina potions. Grab two of those. We need a super anti-fire potion. We need a prayer potion as well. We're gonna need Draymond staff and the self graveyard teleports. We need a house tab or several house tabs. and Felder Pills Teleport Scrolls. Now you're gonna to want to use your Pestle of Mortar on the Bat Bones. And then you can go ahead and bank your Pestle of Mortar. <clears throat> now you're gonna teleport home. If you need to use an alt account for this, well, you do need to use an alt account for this, Hop to world 330 and just head to someone's house. I'm personally just going to use my own account's house. Once inside, I'm gonna to go to the teleport menu on the Nexus. This, anyone in the house portal world should have the watchtower teleport. Just look around for a house that has it. If you haven't found it yet, now's the time to pause the video until you do. We're gonna to talk to the wizard, the watchtower wizard. <clears throat> Chat option is going to be number one. Chat option number one. And chat option number one. Now we're going to climb down the ladder. And the second ladder, and we're going to search the bushes to the north. We're going to search the northwesternmost bush and we'll find ourselves some fingernails. We're going to return to the Watchtower Wizard. Climbing up the ladders. Talk to the Watchtower Wizard. Chat option number one. And chat option number one. Going to use our fairy rings now, so teleport to the cell of graveyard. And we're gonna use fairy ring CIQ. <clears throat> now 
We're going to run southwest and speak to the, to the ogres and talk to Og. We're going to use chat option number one. Then we're going to run south to this small island. We go ahead and use a rope on this branch. Once across, we're going to speak to Guru. Chat option number one. Teleport to Felder Pills. And we're going to head north to the dungeon. Going to enter the cave entrance. And we're going to kill Gorad. Where is he? Kill Gorad and take his tooth. Take the tooth and then we're going to speak to Tobin. Chat option one. Chat option one. Then we'll speak to Tobin again. Should receive a relic. Then we'll search Tobin's chest and take his gold. Now we're going to teleport to the Soul Graveyard again. We're going to use the Fairy Ring. And we're going to go to CIQ once again. We're going to go speak to Og. Then we'll once again run south and swing it over the branch. We're going to speak to Gru. Pick up the Jango Berries off the ground and then teleport to house again to use the same person's house for the Watchtower teleport. Speak to the Watchtower Wizard. Then teleport to the Salve Graveyard. Once again, CIQ. Then we're going to run southeast into Gutenoth. And we're going to run west once we get inside the city towards the gate. Once we get to the gate, we're going to use the relic on either of the guards. <clears throat> Just speak to the ogre guard first. And they'll let us in. We're going to run south towards the market. And we're going to speak to the ogre trader by the bread stall. We're going to lure him to the north of the stall. Then we're going to run to the south of the stall and steal from the counter. 
We're going to exit the market and follow the path south. We're going to speak to the guard. Chat option number one. And then use the rock cake on the guard. Now we're going to continue along the path. We're going to jump over the bridge. And we're going to pay the 20 GP. Chat option number one. Head east to the city guards and we're going to speak to them. And chat option number two. <clears throat> Speak again. And we're going to go back the way we came. Going to exit the city. And as we get back towards the entrance, rather than leaving the full city, we're going to take the south route. And we're going to enter inside this cave. Inside the cave, we should find a scared scabbard. There he is. We're going to speak to him. Chat option two. Watch the cutscene. And then we're going to leave. Now we're going to head to the first cave by leaving the city and going to the northwesternmost cave entrance. Speak to the scabbard inside. We're going to pick up a cave nightshade. Now, there's different answers for each of the scabbard uh, chat dialogues. Mine says, Ker biddeth. The answer is Ig. Now, if you get ah ker, the answer is gore. If you get biddeth ig, the answer is ker. If you get ker taneth, the answer is biddeth. If you get biddeth taneth, the answer is ker. If you get taneth gore, the answer is nod. If you get gore ker, the answer is ah. And if you get gore na, the answer is taneth. So use whatever answer corresponds to yours. And then we're going to enter into the second cave. Speak to the scabbard. Mine says gore The answer is A-R. Once again, ar ker is gore. Biddeth ig is ker. Ker taneth is biddeth. Biddeth taneth is ker. Taneth gore is nod. Ker biddeth is ig. Gore na is taneth. And gore ker is ar. And we're going to head around again. Going to head inside this one. It's Tanith Gore. So my answer is nod. Once again, 
Arkur is Gore, Biddeth Ig is Kerr, Kerr Tanith is Biddeth, Biddeth Tanith is Kerr, Tanith Gore is Nod, Kerr Biddeth is Ig, Gore Kerr is R, Gore Na is Tanith. Leaving again, and then we're going to go inside the final cave up here. And we'll speak to the final scabbard. Mine says Biddeth Tanith, so my answer is Kerr. Once again, our Kerr is Gore, Biddeth Ig is Kerr, Kerr Tanith is Biddeth, Biddeth Tanith is Kerr, Tanith Gore is Nod, Kerr Biddeth is Ig, Gore Kerr is R, and Gore Na is Tanith. I'm actually going to speak to that one just again because I don't think I finished the dialogue. Okay, I did. Fantastic. Now we're going to head back to the original cave where we saw the scared scabbard. Speak to the scared scabbard. Then outside to the, the cave, we're going to talk to an ogre guard. We're going to go through. Give the guard the gold, and then we're going to cross the bridge into the cave. Then we're going to talk to the Mad Scabbard. He says, Ah, Kerr. My answer is Gore. Yours may be Biddeth Ig, which is Kerr. Kerr Tanith, which is Biddeth. Biddeth Tanith, which is Kerr. Tanith Gore, which is Nod. Kerr Biddeth, which, which is Ig. Gore Kerr, which is Ah, and Gore Na, which is Tanith. So we get a crystal off this Scabbard. We're going to go ahead and pick up a second Cave Nightshade. And we're going to return to the Ogre Market. We'll run back to the gate here. That's going to be 55 magic for me, so I can now use high alchemy without boosting. Always alchemy along these quests, guys. Very important for the end of the Barrow's Gloves run. Go ahead and open the city gates and we're going to head down to the market and we're going to use our cave nightshade on the enclave guard and confirm the interface i'm not scared after the cutscene finishes we're going to teleport to house So we'll teleport to house and we're going to use the watchtower teleport in our friend's house. I'm going to speak to the watchtower wizard. Now we are going to use the Jango berries on the Guam potion. Then we're going to use the ground bat bones on that vial. Then we speak to the watchtower wizard again, and he will enchant the potion. Now we're going to go to the fairy ring. And we're going to go to CIQ once again. Going to return to the Gutenhof market.
And we're once again going to use a cave nightshade on the Enclave Guard. I'm not scared. Drink a super anti-fire potion. And then we're going to run forward with Prey Melee on. And then we're going to go ahead and use our potion on the Ogre Shamans. Now it's the Ogre Shamans only. Will not work on the Ogre Chieftains, so make sure you get the right ones. Now, once the five shamans are dead, a sixth one will spawn randomly. And there it is. So go find that and kill it and you'll receive the third crystal. And then you're going to head into the center and mine the rock. I'll get you the last crystal, teleport to house, and we're going to use the watchtower teleport of our friend once again. And we're going to talk to the watchtower wizard. We're going to use yellow on the southwest. We're going to use southeast or gray. Northeast is magenta. And northwest is cyan. Now we pull the lever on the western wall. And the watchtower quest is complete. Very nice. We're going to head back to the Grand Exchange now. We'll go ahead and bank everything in our inventory. Not those rune arrows, we need those. And those nature runes. Now we need the Bar Crawl card. We need one beer. We need an axe. We need a tinder box. We need a bread dough. We need one regular log. We need an earth talisman and one pure essence. We're going to need stamina potions, grab two of those. Then we need teleports to Lumbridge, Falador, and the Lumberyard. Let's go ahead and teleport to Lumbridge. And we'll cut an oak log from the tree to the south. And then light the log. We're going to go inside the dining hall. Go inside and we're going to inspect Evil Dave. We're going to inspect the dwarf. And then we're going to inspect Pirate Pete. We 
We're going to leave through the door and we're going to speak to the cook outside. We're going to use chat option number three. We're going to use chat option number one. Chat option number one. Chat option number two. And chat option number three. Now we're going to cook our bread on the kitchen range. Then we are going to teleport to Felidor. We're going to enter the pub to the southwest. And we're going to speak to Kaylee. We're going to ask about the dwarves. And chat option number two. Now we're going to speak to Burntoff the Dwarf. Chat option number one. Watch the cutscene. Chat option number one. Chat option number one. And chat option number one. Then we're going to speak to the bartender again and talk about Alfred Grimhand's bar crawl, option number two. Then we're going to teleport to the lumberyard. We're going to make a one regular plank. Then we're going to enter the lumberyard and chop down a dying tree. Climb over the broken fence, head down to the earth altar. And we're going to make a singular earth rune. Then we're going to head south, leave the earth altar, and we're going to head up to the northwest. And we're going to speak to the bartender about Alfred Grimhand's bar crawl. Now we're going to head back to the Grand Exchange. Deposit everything in your inventory except for the bar crawl card. And then you want to get yourself one bronze sword. One bronze arrow. And then you want an air, water, fire, and earth runes. Should have a couple of those in the bank already. Just need to buy a fire rune. We need molten glass. We're gonna need ourselves a tinder box. Some swamp tar, which we should still have in the bank. No, that's paste. We need swamp tar. We need two planks. We need 60 steel nails. We need a hammer. Mm -hmm. 
We need a set of magic combat runes. Go ahead and grab our death runes and air runes out here. And we need all four elemental spells. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy runes for every single spell. Buy a bunch of fire runes here. And then we need to buy a bunch of earth runes as well. So now we're able to do every single elemental spell. And then we'll bring a rune scimitar or the melee switch and a super combat. Gonna need stamina potions, grab two of those. Prayer potion, grab one of those. And I'm gonna grab a couple of sharks just in case. I need a games necklace, which I'm gonna go ahead and equip. And then we need Draymond stuff and salve graveyard teleports. And that is a full inventory, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and teleport to the salve graveyard. Configure the fairy ring and we want to go to ALP. I'm gonna to speak to Larissa. You do not meet all the requirements for horror from the deep. Alfred Grimhand's bar crawl. Do I need to go back to Alfred and speak to him about the bar crawl? I'm gonna to teleport to the barbarian outpost. I guess that's what you need to do. I guess you need to go back to Alfred here. Speak to one of the barbarian guards. And then ask him to smash your vials. I'm just gonna write this one down. And then we'll go back to the cell graveyard. Once again, ALP. And we'll speak to Larissa. It's gonna be chat option number one. Chat option number one. Chat option number one. Chat option number three. We're gonna run east towards the bridge. Here at the second bridge, we're going to go ahead and repair by using a plank on the broken bridge. Then we're going to cross over the broken bridge and we're going to use a plank on the other side as well. I teleport to the barbarian outpost. And we're going to head over to the east, enter the gate and take the southern pipe. This is in the guide where it says to finish the bar crawl, but obviously you can't start the quest without finishing the bar crawl. I'm gonna go ahead and speak to Gunjorn here. And he gives us a key. Then we're gonna teleport to the fairy ring again. Take ALP. I'm gonna go inside the lighthouse. We're gonna climb up to the top. We find a broken light mechanism. We wanna go ahead and use Swamp tar, molten glass, and a tinderbox. 
And we want to climb back down. Climb down all the way into the basement. And then we want to go up to this door and use on the door the bronze sword. The bronze arrow. Earth rune. The air rune. The water rune. And the fire rune. Then we're going to head through the door. Go downstairs. And speak to Jossic. We're going to go ahead and pray range. And we're going to kill the low level Dagonoth. Actually, don't even need to pray. It's just safe spotted. Very nice. And the Dagonoth is down. Speak to Jossic. And then we're going to run up north towards the Stalagmites. And we can save spot. Got to pray range here. And in the white phase, we're going to attack with air spells. In the blue phase, we're going to attack with water spells. Orange phase, we're going to attack with melee. The brown phase? Nope, that's the brown phase. The brown phase is going to attack with Earth. And the red is obviously fire. And there is horror from the deep. Now we are going to teleport to the Grand Exchange. We now need to train to 40 range. The fastest way we can do that is by getting our cannon out of the bank. We go ahead and put everything away. I'll open that chest. I don't know what the rust casket does, but we'll put that away. Um, we're going to need our self graveyard teleports and our Draymond staff. Grab our cannon out. And then we are just going to grab some food and prayer potions. Grab 15 sharks, two prayer potions. And then we're going to head back to the lighthouse. Going to head down the stairs into the Dagonoth room. Eat up and pray up. Pray melee. Someone's already down here with a cannon. So I'm gonna hop worlds. Someone's already down here with a cannon. I'm gonna hop worlds. Someone's already down here with the cannon. Got all of worlds. And uh, there we go. Nice. Go set the cannon up. And fire the cannon. Now we simply just sit here until we're... 40 range.
Might as well get some Alks in while we're at it. Okay, this cannon is actually wildly inaccurate, so I'm going to quickly teleport back to the Grand Exchange while the cannon's here. I'm going to buy myself a Rune 2-hander. I'm going to get a set of Rune as well. Just for the defensive bonuses. Go ahead and undo that set here. Chuck that on, weather rune two hander, and I'll grab a glory out of the bank as well. Then we can teleport back to the lighthouse. Now our cannon should be a bit more accurate, and we won't take as much damage. Much better.
And that is 40 ranged. Once again, if you are not 40 ranged, now is the time to pause the video until you have 40 range and then teleport to the Grand Exchange to get ready for the next quest. Okay, at the Grand Exchange, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in my inventory back away. And we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some reinforced goggles. And we're gonna to have to buy them from a Slayer Master. We're gonna need ranged gear, so we'll grab the best knives we can, rune knives. A couple hundred of those. And I'm gonna get myself some green dehyde. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my glory and I'm going to teleport to Edgeville after I grab myself some drain or mana tabs out of the bank. And then I'll need stamina potions as well as a couple prayer potions. Just grab one prayer potion. Now I'm going to go ahead and teleport to Edgeville to grab those reinforced goggles. And we can just run northeast here to Crystallia. Let's go ahead and trade Crystallia. And where are the goggles? Where are the goggles? I think we might get them during the quest. Okay, after the quest, we can buy them. We get a pair during the quest. So we're going to teleport to Draenor Manor. We're going to run south. Then southeast. For the entrance to the Sourhog Cave. Now, we don't have the goggles yet, so I think we've missed a step in this quest. <laughs> Let's have a look at a portion of interest. Spoke to Sarah at the farm. She explained that she was attacked by a charging monster at the crossroads of Draenor. I should investigate the site. Okay, potentially we do already have these. I'm gonna teleport to Edgeville. They might be in the bank. They are not in the bank. Okay, so. So I'll put back to Draenor. I need to go investigate this site. Potentially we've missed a step in the guide here, but that's okay. We're going to investigate the strange hole. Investigate the broken dead tree and investigate the carrot here. And I'll investigate the other carrots and another broken tree. Now that we have investigated everything, we also need a rope. Hmm. This is very interesting. I'm going to head back to the bank and grab a rope now. There's definitely a whole portion we've missed here in the guide. So I'll grab a rope. And then I need to go back to Draenor now. Teleport to the Draenor village. I believe we need to run south and speak to... Okay, we need to go back up to the strange hole. <laughs> and we need to use a rope on it. I'm gonna climb down into the hole. And we're going to go to the end here, investigate the skeleton.
Go through the cutscene. I was expecting a wedding. After the cutscene, we're going to speak to Spirion. <laughs> and then I'm going to, have to quickly teleport to Edgeville. Get our rune scimitar out of the bank. And then we're going to teleport back to Draenor Village. Climb down the strange hole. <laughs> Put the goggles on first. Go through here and attack the sour hog. Then we'll go ahead and cut the foot off the sour hog. Then we're going to teleport to Draenor with the Amulet of Glory. I'm going to grab a new one of those out of the bank and a new Ring of Wealth. I'm going to go north of the market over here. And climb down this trapdoor. We're going to quickly kill a zombie. Then we're going to head back up. We're going to return to Sarah at the Falador farm. Just going to quickly jump over this fence. We should have gone around the other way, but that's okay. Talk to Sarah. Talk about the bounty. The 5,000 coins, and then we're gonna head back to Draenor Village. And we're gonna run up north and speak to Spiria again. That is going to be a portion of interest completed. I'm going to go ahead and teleport to the Grand Exchange now. And I'm going to go ahead and put everything away in my inventory. Then I need to purchase myself stews. We need nine. I'm going to bring 10 just in case I mess one up. And we need our cat. And we need a glory teleport. We're going to go ahead and teleport to Edgeville.
And I'm gonna head downstairs. Speak to Evil Dave. <laughs> Chat option number three. And chat option number four. Then we'll go upstairs and talk to Doris. Then we'll go back downstairs. Drop our cat and then chase. Pick up the spice as you get them. Now what you can do is go ahead and put one of the yellow spices in and then talk to Evil Dave, give him the stew, and he will say, that's nothing like the stew I tasted, all of the spices are wrong. So we know that it's not one yellow. We'll go ahead and put two yellows in and give that to Dave. And all the spices are wrong again. So we know it's not two or one yellows. And we're just gonna use this process for all of the different spices until we figure out uh, exactly what Dave had. Get ourselves a nice little brown spice now. So we'll use the brown spice on Dave. And it's not one brown spice. So I'm gonna use the in-game chat box to keep track. Three plus yellow, two plus brown. And we managed to pick up a red spice. I'm gonna wait until we get a few more here before I keep trying. Okay, so now we can figure out the yellow one. Go ahead and put three of the yellow spices in. And then we'll give that to Evil Dave. There we go. So now we know it's three yellow exactly. Oh, it's actually only one, two, or three doses, guys. So it definitely can't be four. So now we get to see with the brown spice. Go ahead and put two of those in. Use that on Evil Dave. Okay, so it's three yellow, three brown. That means we can figure out red as well. So we'll go ahead and put one dose of red. Okay, now we'll try two doses of red. So it's three yellow, three brown, three red. We're getting very unlucky here. And we managed to get an orange spice. Hopefully we get lucky on this last one. Let's go ahead and use it on Evil Dave. All the spices are wrong. Let's one, two, and use it. 
So it is three brown, three red, and three orange. <laughs> that is insane. That might be the unluckiest I've ever gotten in this. Oh, we have a Hellcat now. There we go. Got the red spice all sorted now. So we'll need two doses of all the rest though. That's the yellow spice done. Just need the brown and orange now. More red. There's the orange and just the brown now. More yellow. I'm actually going to pick up the extras just in case I've messed this up. Because I've got a funny feeling I have messed this up. I don't know why. Just something telling me. And there's the brown. Okay, so hopefully we haven't messed this up. But on the off chance that we have, at least we've got a little bit of extras. So it should be three doses of everything. One, two, three orange. One, two, three brown. One, two, three red. And one, two, three yellow. So that should be it. Let's go ahead and use this on Dave. Okay, perfect. That's it. Now we're going to go ahead and teleport back to the Grand Exchange. That was the most unlucky I've ever gotten in Evil Dave. So hopefully you guys have found your stew by now. If you haven't, now's a good time to pause the video. Now we need to bring our spicy stew for Dave. We need a knife. We need a pestle and mortar. We need a fish bowl. Go ahead and buy a new one of those. We need a needle. We need bronze wire. Grab three of those. Oh my God, the bronze player will not buy. This is not good. Okay, fantastic. Bronze wire. We need a raw cod. We need a bread. We need to grab our rune simi out the bank. And we need to take off our helmet and cape. We need to be below 15 kilos. So let's check our weight. And we are 
And we need Lumbridge teleports and Kazard teleports. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and teleport to Kazard after we pick up our Halka and deposit it. Teleport to Kazard. We use our Pestle and Mortar on the raw cod. And then we're going to run to the east, use the knife on the bread, and we're going to make some breadcrumbs. Then we're going to talk to Murphy, talk about recipe for disaster. Talk to Murphy again. Let's go diving. Put the helmet and the apparatus on. Talk about recipe of disaster. Let's go diving. Now we're going to swim to the north. And we're going to pick some kelp. I'm going to take two just in case here. Yeah, we're going to swim north and talk to Nung. And we're going to swim to the west here. We got five of these rocks. Two. There's three. Four. And the fifth. Then we're going to enter the underwater cavern. We need to kill five mud skippers. And we need to take their hides. That's three. That's four. And that is five. Once you have your five, you're going to exit the cave. And we're going to return to Nung. Then we're going to enter the pen. Oh, we have to talk to him twice, actually. Speak to him one more time. And then we're going to enter the pen. We're going to attack the crab.
Go ahead and take the crab meat. And then we're going to teleport to Lumbridge. Go ahead and grind the kelp and the crab meat with the pestle and mortar. We're going to use the ingredients on each other. Apparently I don't know how to make fish cakes yet. So I'm going to speak to the cook. Protecting the pirate. Apparently now I know how to make fish cakes. I'm going to use the raw fish cake on the range. And then we're going to head inside the dining hall. We need to right click use the fish cake on Pirate Pete. And then right click use the spicy stew on Evil Dave. And then we are going to teleport to the Grand Exchange. Take off that diving apparatus. We can get our Mystic Hat and our Artie Cloak back out. Put everything in our inventory away. And we're going to need a spade. We need a torch. That is lit. Need a tinderbox. We need a rope. We need one bronze wire. We need a hammer. We need a chisel. Need three regular bones. And we need 20 mithril seeds. I'm going to go ahead and get actually 30 of these. It says 20 plus. Get our magic combat gear out. Grab those runes. Then we need stamina potions. Grab two of those. Need prayer potions. Grab one and this three dose just to drink now. We need some food. Grab some sharks. I'm gonna eat one now. I need an antidote plus plus. I need a Draymond staff. I need some salve graveyard teleports. I need a ring of dueling. Go ahead and buy a few more of those. Stash 10 in the bank. And then Tybo one eye scrolls. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of those sharks away just so we have an inventory space. Now we're gonna to teleport to the duel arena. We're gonna run south to Ali Morrison. We're going to speak to Alimar saying, I'm going to use chat option number one, chat option number two, chat option, oh, that's supposed to be number one. Let's talk to him again. So chat option number one, chat option number two, and chat option number one. And then chat option number one. We're going to head west to the gem trader. We're going to speak to him. Chat option number three. Then we're going to take the glider to Karamja. We go ahead and run southwest. And we're going to jump across the stepping stones. Oh no. I've fallen and I can't get up. Running west to Shiloh Village, I'm going to speak to Mosul Ray. 
Chat option number one. Chat option number one. Chat option number one. Chat option number four. Chat option number two. Uh, we have no space for that. It's taken up all our space. What did we pick up? Oh, we we'll go ahead and put those rune arrows on and then we're going to teleport to Tybo Wano. Northeast, we're going to use the belt on Trifitus. Trifitus. Chat option number two. Chat option number two. Chat option number one. Chat option number three. And chat option number one. Then we're going to teleport to the Duel Arena. Gonna use the Gnome Glider and fly to Karamja. Then we're gonna run northwest, past the Jogas and the Crash Glider to a mine. There's a dungeon symbol. We're gonna go ahead and use our spade on the Mound of Earth. Then we're gonna use the Lit Torch on the Fisher. Then we're gonna use the rope on the fissure. And then we're going to search and enter the cave. We're gonna head southwest to the cave in. I'm gonna keep my prey melee up here. Uh, back a bit north, I think. I think we've gone past it. Search the cave in. And yes, we'll try and wiggle through. Then we're going to head to the northeast. Sorry, we're going to head to the northwest corner. We're going to search the loose rocks. This will give us a scroll. Then we're going to follow the path around to the southeast. Then we're going to search the sacks in the southeastern corner. Then we're going to head to the north to the gallows. I'm going to go ahead and put the rune arrows on and eat the shark just to get two inventory spaces here. And I'm going to run around the back of the gallows so the zombies can't attack me. I'm going to search the ancient gallows. Option number two. We're going to go ahead and read both of these scrolls. Then we're going to teleport to Tybo Wano. We're going to run north. And then we're going to bury the corpse just in front of this tribal statue. Speak to the spirits. Gonna quickly pray at this tribal statue. And then we are going to use the fairy ring CKR. CKR. Then we're gonna run south to Can Isle. Across the bridge. Gonna use the same red X store we did before. And we've crossed the bridge. Then we're gonna go to the northwestern corner. And we are going to search the well stacked rocks. 
and we're going to use option number one and we'll be in another tunnel. Now we're gonna head south and we're going to search the dolmen. We're going to use our chisel on the sword pommel. Then we're gonna use the bronze wire on the beads. Then we're going to teleport to the fairy ring. We're going to go to DKP. Then we're going to run southeast to the entrance in the jungle. And we're going to search these trees. Then we're going to search the carved doors. Then we're going to use our chisel on the bone shard to make the bone key. Then we're gonna use a bone key on the carved doors. Then we're going to enter the hillside after we equip our beads of the dead. Make sure you have them on. <laughs> Go through, open the ancient gates. We're gonna climb down the rocks. And then we're gonna to run to the west. Then south and then west again. We're gonna reach the bone door. We're gonna go ahead and right click use our bones on the door. All three of them. And that is going to give us entrance in here. Then we're gonna search the dolmen and we have to defeat Nazistral three times. There we go. Let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and save spot. Now, you will have to re-save spot after every phase, so just get ready for it to move. Gonna pray melee at the end. There's a second. Step back here, I think it's now stuck. Yep, it is. Big hits. And praying melee for the third phase. And there we go. Once again, that's trapped. Now, as the dead, we're going to take the corpse. Once we have the corpse in our inventory, we're going to teleport to the Salve Graveyard and use Fairy Ring code CKR. I'm going to run south to Cairn Isle again. Climbing up. Once again, using the Red X stall. Then we're going to go back into the Wellstack Rocks. Chat option one, I'm gonna run south. I'm gonna use the corpse on the dolmen and Charlo village is complete. Gonna teleport back to the Grand Exchange now. Go ahead and chuck everything in the inventory away one more time. We need a knife. We need a chisel. We need feathers. Gonna grab 10 or more of those. We need one wolf bones. We need achy tree logs. 
I'm actually going to go ahead and get two AK tree logs and two wolf bones. It says one plus in the guide. So two of each of those, then we're going to take an axe, just in case. We need a cabbage. Go ahead and grab two of those. We need two tomatoes. We need two onions. We need two potatoes. We need two equa leaves. And two dougal leaves. Let me go ahead and buy some ogre arrows as well. Let's get 30 of those. And then we're going to put on our range gear, the green dehyde. Put our mystic away. We need a stamina potion. Draymond stuff. And salve graveyard teleports. Let's go ahead and teleport to the salve graveyard. And we're going to use fairy ring code. AKS. Gonna run to the east. We're gonna speak to Rance. Chat option number three. Our uh, chat option number one, sorry. Then we'll speak to Rance again. Now, we need to make at least six new Aki arrows. So let's go ahead and shop the Aki logs. Some arrow shafts. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and attach feathers to those. And then we'll use our chisel on the wolf bones. We get six tips. They're gonna make six ogre arrows at least. There we go. Now we're gonna to talk to Rance. Chat option number one. Chat option number two. Chat option number three. And chat option number four. Let's go north. We're gonna enter the cave. We're going to unlock the ogre chest in the northwest corner. Then we're going to take uh, some ogre bellows. I'm gonna go ahead and grab an extra one. Then we're going to teleport to fairy ring code AKS again. This is just to save a little bit of time. Then we're going to head to the swamp. We'll use our ogre bellows on the bubbles. And then we're going to use the bellows on some totes. We're going to need three of these, so I'll go ahead and put my rune arrows on. And then before I leave, I'm just going to fill up my bellows again. Then we're going to return and talk to Rance.
And we're going to go head south. Where the arrow is and drop our toads. And now we have to wait until Rance shoots his bow. I'll speak to him. There we go. Now he shoots. And then we speak chat option number two, chat option number one. There we go. Equip the bow and kill one of the chompies. Oh, we better put the ogre arrows on. There we go. The chompy is down. Let's pluck the chompy bird. Take the raw chompy. And then we'll speak to Rance. Now we speak to him. He'll tell you what he wants on the chompy. He wants potato with his. So we remember that. Then we go speak to the children. That one wants cabbage and that one wants Dougal leaves. So we need one cabbage, one potato and one Dougal leaf. We drop everything else out of our inventory and let's go ahead and use the raw chompy on the spit with the ingredients. And then we get the seasoned chompy. Then we talk to Rance, and that is big chompy bird hunting complete. I'm gonna teleport back to the Grand Exchange, get myself a new ring of wealth. Take those ogre arrows off. Deposit everything else from my inventory. And I'm going to need an egg. Going to need a bucket of milk. Going to need a pot of flour. Going to need a cake tin. Going to need ogre bellows, which we have in the bank. Grab both of those out. We need a ball of wool. We need a tinder box. We need some logs. We need an iron spit. We need a raw chompy. We need an axe. And we need a pickaxe. We need the ogre bow. And ogre arrows. And we still have our range gear on. Let's go ahead and collect all that to our inventory. We need stamina potions. Two of those. Need a necklace of passage. We need a lumbridge teleport. We need Tybo one eye scrolls. We need salve graveyards and the Draymond staff. I'm going to go ahead and teleport to lumbridge. We'll get some more salve graveyard teleports out first. Teleport to lumbridge. 
And we're going to head into the dining hall. And we're going to inspect Scratch Ogilawuji. Yes, I'm sure I can get some Jubbly Chompy. And then chat option number two. Then we'll inspect the Lumbridge Guide. Chat option number one. Teleport to the Wizard's Tower. I'm going to go ahead and wear that Necklace of Passage and drop the Beads of the Dead. We don't need them anymore. Then we'll head upstairs in the Wizard's Tower. And speak to Wizard Tribon. Now for this part, I highly recommend turning on the Quest Helper. Because there are going to be some answers. There's going to be a lot of answers. If not, um, just go on the RuneScape wiki and look up the guide for this part of Recipe for Disaster. It's the Lumbridge Guide part. Because I will not be going through all of the options here. There are so many different options. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my quest helper. And then I'm going to go into Recipe for Disaster, find the Lumbridge Guide, click on that, and then go into my quest helper. And find the quest. RFD, Lumbridge Guide. Perfect. I'm going to speak to Wizard Triborn here, ask about helping the Lumbridge Guide. And then we're going to speak again, ask about helping the Lumbridge Guide. And then let's start. I'm pretty sure that's King Lathis. Could be wrong though. It was King Lathis. Second test. Oh, is that Sigley the Huntsman? It's Pirate Pete. There you go. Oh, that's Mer Marina. Maria? Merlin. Valoria. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. There we go. That's the first part done. I want to speak again. Ask about helping the Lumbridge Guide. And do the next test. Answer is Legends. And there we go. Now we're going to speak one last time about us, the Lumbridge Guide. And here we go. Number five. Perfect. I'm going to skip through this as quick as possible. Now, once again, guys, if you haven't finished this now, now's a good time to pause the video. Either use the quest helper or use the wiki guide because everyone's answers are different here and it would take me eight years to go through all of the answers. So just pause the video if you're not done. After you're done, use any ingredient on the cake tin. Mix all the ingredients together and we have the raw guide cake. We can drop the pot and the bucket. Now we're going to teleport to Fairy Ring Code AKS. We're going to go north of the Fairy Ring and mine three of these pile of rocks. To the east, we're going to go ahead and collect three bloated totes. Use the bellows on the totes. We're going to refill our bellows again. And then we're going to return to Rats.
speak to rants, chat option two, and chat option three. And we're going to head southeast. Down here should be another rants. You can see both of them. Classic. And we're going to use chat option number two. Then we're going to go ahead and use our axe on the fallen tree. And we're going to use it one last time. Then we're going to speak to Rance again. Chat option number two. Then we are going to teleport to Taibo Wano with the scroll after we finish this chat box. Let's go ahead and teleport to Taibo Wano. Gonna run to the west. And we need to stand next to the tree with the arrow in it and light a fire. We need to use the iron spit on the raw chompy, and then we're going to cook it. I burnt it. I burnt it. I'm gonna go back to the grand exchange. Need to buy another chompy. Gonna bring a second one just in case. And then teleport back to Taibo Wano. Run that one back real quick. I ruined it again. There we go. Took me three tries. Damn. I'm 65 cooking as well. And then we'll go ahead and board the ogre boat. Chow from one. Speak to Rance. Chat option two. Then we're going to use the ogre bellows on the bloated toads. Do that for all three. Head back over to the area. We're going to drop our three balloon toads. Then need to wait for a job leads bird to spawn. Chuck our ogre arrows on. There's the jubbly bird. Let's go ahead and attack it.
There's the Jubbly dead. We'll go ahead and pluck that. Take the raw Jubbly. I'm going to run north. Now, luckily, we've got a second one spawned. So if this one burns, we can just run south and kill that. But we'll run up to the north. I'm going to use the Jubbly on Rance as spit. Let's see if we burn it. We do not. Very nice. Now we're going to teleport to Lumbridge. Going to run into the kitchen. We're going to use the raw cake guide. Guide cake on the range. Then we're going to go into the dining hall. We're going to go ahead and use the cake of guidance on the Lumbridge guide. And then we're going to use the cook jubbly on scratch oogalawooji. Now we're going to go ahead and teleport back to the Grand Exchange. Put everything away in our inventory once again. Going to quickly sip on a prayer potion here. Now we need our coins. We need a fake beard. We need a Kandarin headpiece. A Caridian headpiece, sorry. We need three beers. We need leather gloves. We need a bucket. We need melee combat gear. We'll take our scimitar and then we can take a cannon if we'd like. Let's go ahead and take the cannon. Then we need stamina potions. I'm gonna go ahead and get three of those. We need Nada scrolls. And a ring of wealth for the end. Very nice, let's teleport to Nada with the scroll. And we're going to take the carpet to Palm of Niche. Challenge number one. Head into the bar. Speak to drunken Ali. Give him the three beers. Go through all of the conversation. Then we need to find any bandits. Any bandits. And we're going to right click, talk to any of the bandits. Then we're going to go to the Southwest. Right click, talk to any Menophyte. Head to the camel man. Chat option number four. Chat option number two. Chat option number one. Chat option number two. Chat option number two. Now we're going to talk to a bandit and a menophyte. Give each of them one of the receipts. Then we're going to head southwest. 
to the large purple tent. We're going to speak to Ali, the operator. Chat option one. And chat option two. I'm going to go ahead and pickpocket a villager. Speak to Ali, the operator again. Chat option one. Chat option two. Now we find the street urchin in the center of the town. Speak to the street urchin until the conversation ends. Then pickpocket the villager with the arrow above its head. Then we go back and speak to Ali, the operator. Chat option number one. And equip the oak blackjack. I'm going to right click and lure on any villager. Right click lure on any villager. Get them to follow you. Bring them behind a building. Right click knockout. And then pickpocket. Then we're going to return and speak to Ali the operator. We're going to use our Caridian headpiece on the fake beard. Then we're going to equip the desert disguise and the leather gloves. We're going to head to the mansion. And we're going to click hide behind the cactus. We're going to use the keys on the large door. And we're going to climb up the stairs to the north. We're going to search the picture next to the bed. Then in a clockwise order, press 1. 1. 2. 3. 5. And 8. Now we're going to climb down the staircase and return to Ali, the operator. Speak with Ali, the operator. Give him the jewels. Speak to any of the menified thugs. Then speak to Ali, the operator, again. Chat option number two. Then we're going to head to the bar. We're going to speak to Ali, the barman. Chat option number three. Chat option one. Then we're going to go up the hill to the northwest. And we're going to speak to Ali the Hag.
Gonna head to the kebab store. Speak to Ali, the kebab seller. Chat option number three. Chat option number one. Then we're going to head down to the camel shop again. We're going to use the red hot sauce on the trough. Wait for the camel shit to appear on the ground. And if it's brown, use the bucket on it. If it's green, use more sauce on the trough. So now we have a bucket of shit. Head to the bar and find the snake charmer outside to the south. Talk to the snake charmer. Use one coin on the money pot. Then we're going to head west. We're going to use the snake charm on a snake. There we go. We have a snake in a basket. If you don't, try again. We're going to return to Ali the Hag. Gonna speak to Ali the Hag. Gonna speak to her twice. We'll get our poison. We're gonna head into the bar. We're gonna use the poison on the beer on the table. Then we're going to talk to Ali, the operator. I'm going to talk to the Menophyte leader out the front. And I'm going to chuck my cannon down. And we're going to kill this fool. And there we go. I'll take that Willow Blackjack. Pick up the cannon. And then we're going to go north and talk to the bandit leader. Where's the bandit leader? Where the hell's the bandit leader? Doesn't seem to be here. Have I messed up again? The feud. Oh, I have to speak to one of the villagers. Okay. Talk to a villager. And chat option number one. Then we're gonna head north, speak to the bandit leader. Then I'm gonna set up my cannon. And 
And we're going to kill this fool. Go ahead and pick up the cannon, and we're going to run back and speak to the bandit leader again. He's not gone. Now we're going to speak to the villagers. Then we'll speak to Ali the mayor. Okay, now we want to teleport to the fella door on your ring of wealth and go inside the real estate agent's house, relocate, and we're going to relocate our house to Tavoli. I can't do that. I don't have 10 construction. I don't know about this guide anymore, guys. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next step. All right, so for the next, we want to go to the Grand Exchange. At the Grand Exchange, I'm going to go ahead and put everything back away. Then we need to get ourselves two cut opals. These are going to go in the bank. We need two cut jades. We need two cut red topaz. And a steel bar. And a bronze bar. Need an iron bar. We need a hammer. And we're going to send all of that to the bank. Let me just have a look and check. We have those pigeon cages from before. We do have five pigeon cages. We need an airtight pot. And we need to have an Amulet of Glory in the bank. Beautiful. We have all of that. Now, at this point, if you're 47 magic, you want to go ahead and buy yourself a Mist Battle Stuff. Nice and cheap in the GE or potentially a mist, mystic mist stuff. Beautiful, want to equip that. Now mist is going to be water and air, and then you want to get yourself a lava rune. Get quite a few of those. And then you want to get lore runes. And that is going to give you a teleport to pretty much everywhere on the map. Saving quite a few inventory spaces here. Uh, now, if you're not 51, you want to bring a magic potion as well, but you should be 51 by this point uh, for that arty teleport. Then for items in your inventory, we're going to put our Alks away for this one because we need a lot of inventory space. We need our coins. We need three steel bars. We need a chisel. We need a bowl of hot water. We need an empty cup. We need two guams, one marantil.
One Harolander. One steak sandwich, which should already be in the bank. We need a pickaxe. We need a soft clay. Now for teleports, we need Ardy, House, Lumbridge, Varrock, Glory. We'll go ahead and put one of those on. We need a combat bracelet. We'll get a fresh one. We need a ring of dueling. I'm going to go ahead and equip that as well. We need a Cathaby tab. We need a Kazard tab. We need a skills necklace. And we need our Draymond stuff and Salve Graveyard teleports. Beautiful. Quite a full inventory for this one. Let's go ahead and teleport to Artie. I'm actually going to quickly teleport back to Ferox Enclave because I didn't get any stamina potions out. I'm going to go ahead and get two out here. We may need to bank later for some more. Let's teleport back to Artie. Let's take the boat to Brimhaven. We're now going to board the cart to Shiloh Village. I'm going to go northwest over the bridge. And we're going to speak to Yanni inside the house. Chat options are going to be two. And one. And one again. Now we're going to run down to the southeast. We're going to leave Charlo Village. Now we are going to speak to the jungle forester. Chat options are going to be one and one. Now we're going to teleport to Draenor. Running west to Port Serim. We're going to enter the axe shop and speak to Brian. Chat options are going to be three, two, and four. I'm going to teleport to Draenor Village again. And we're going to speak to Aggie. Chat options are going to be two, three, and two. I'm going to teleport to Draenor one more time, and we're going to head east towards the Ham Hideout. We're going to go inside the ham hideout.
And we're going to go inside. Going to head all the way to the southeast. Going through the second door here. And we're going to speak to Johannes. Where is Johannes? That's Jimmy the Chisel. Maybe he's in this room. The South? No, Johannes here. Oh, there he is. Dude was hiding. He was exactly where I thought he was. Chat option is going to be four. Three. And two. I'm going to leave the ham hideout now. And we're going to go speak to Farmer Fred. Chat option number three. And then we're going to head east. Gonna head inside the gates and then inside the house. And we're going to speak to Seth Groats. Chat option is gonna be two. And then we're going to teleport to Varrock. Run northeast to Horvick's armor shop. Speak to Horvick. Chat option three. And chat option two. Now we're going to teleport to Varrock again. We're going to run southwest to the apothecary. I'm going to speak to the apothecary. Chat option three. No, it's chat option two. And then chat option two. We've got chat option three here. Nope, that's good. Uh, we now need to teleport to Edgeville. We're going to speak to Marley at the yew trees. And give him the sandwich. Then we're going to run south to Barbarian Village. Oh, let's speak to Marley again. There we go. Finish off the cutscene there. And then we're going to head south. In Barbarian Village, we need to speak to Chekhov. Then we need to speak to Tassie. Chat option number one.
Then we're going to spin a bowl on the pottery wheel with our soft clay. Oh! Nearly picked the wrong one. Need to spin a bowl. Then we need to speak to Atlas in the long haul. Chat option number one. All right, we finished watching the cut scene and we're gonna grab a beer and the cooked meat off the table here. Then we're gonna to return to Chekel and use the flex emote when prompted. Fantastic. Now, if you have your authenticator enabled, now is the time that you wanna go into the stronghold and make it to the third floor. If you don't, we're just gonna train that little bit of extra agility later because I am not setting up my authenticator. But if you do have your setup, now's the time to go down and pause the video until you're done. Now we're gonna go ahead and teleport to the Duel Arena. We're gonna run north. Going to speak to a man, and the chat option is going to be number two. Then we're going to mine the iron rocks. Drop those, and then we are going to teleport to the Champions Guild. We're going to run east. Follow the path down to this shortcut and we're gonna jump over it.
Then we're going to teleport to the monastery. We're going to run to the dwarven mines. Looks as though we will need to get another stamina potion out of the bank at some point. Go ahead and climb down the ladder. We're going to run to the south, then to the west. And we're going to speak to a dwarf named Boot. Where is Boot? There he is. I'm going to use chat option one. And then we're going to continue west. And we're going to speak to Hammerspike Stoutbeard. Challenge number three. Challenge number four. And challenge number two. Now we're going to teleport to Felidor and we're going to run north into Tavoli. Gonna run into the herb law shop and climb up the stairs and speak with Sandview. There he is. Chat options are going to be two, two, three, and one. Use the bowl of hot water on the empty teacup. Then use two guam leaves. Then the marantil. Then the harolander. Then we're going to teleport to the dual arena. I'm going to teleport to Ferox Enclave real quick and just grab myself another couple of stamina potions. Then we're going to teleport to the PvP arena. I'm going to run south and speak with Ali Morrisane. And that's going to be the feud completed. And that is a few completed. Then we're going to use the Gnome Glider to fly to White Wolf Mountain. On White Wolf Mountain, we're going to talk to Captain Bleed Mage. Chat option number two and chat option number four. Please don't attack me, Wolf. Then we're going to teleport to Cathaby. We're going to speak to Arim. Chat option number four. Chat option number one. Teleport to the Ranging Guild on your combat bracelet. And then we're going to run northeast to Sears Village. In the westernmost house, we're going to speak with Fantuwuti Fantuwuti Farsight. And chat option is going to be four. Then five. And then have one. 
We're gonna teleport to the fishing guild on the skills necklace. And we're gonna enter the cave to the east. Gonna follow the path directly north. And we're going to right click this sculpture and click search. Then we're gonna teleport to Artie. Run northeast to Wizard Comtree. Speak to him. Chat options are gonna be number four. And number two. Teleport to Kazard. Wanna head to the bank. Get ourselves out two opals, two jades, and two topaz. Then we're gonna head south and speak to the Tyndall merchant. Chow options are gonna be two and one. Then we're going to go to the South Graveyard. Use the fairy ring and we're gonna to go to AKS. Now I'm gonna run east and we're gonna to speak to Rance. Speak to Rance. Chat option number two, chat option number one, and chat option number four. Once again, we're gonna use the fairy ring to AKS. Then we're gonna head west of the fairy ring to the gnome glider, and we're gonna to speak to the gnome. Speak to the gnome, child option four, and child option one. Now we need to light the poles. Need to search the poles to get a sapphire. Let's go ahead and cut that and put that in. Then we'll search the second one. We get an opal. Let's go ahead and put the opal in. Search the third one. We get a topaz. Let's put the topaz in. Search the fourth one. And we get a jade, let's put a jade in. And then I think we do it to the other side. I think that's it. Repeat for all eight lights in the area, okay. We get a sapphire. Let's put that in there. Search, we get an opal, put the opal in. Search, we get a topaz. And the last one's gonna be a jade. Put the jade in. Now we go speak to the gnome. And we're gonna go chat option number four. Now we're gonna to teleport to the Castle Wars bank. Go ahead and put all the uncuts away. And we're going to need ourselves. Steel bar. Bronze bar. An iron bar. A hammer. Five pigeon cages. 
an airtight pot, fly fishing rod, and feathers. We need combat gear, so I'm going to go ahead and get my runes out for my attacks. Let's get all those runes and get my mystic back out. And then I will also grab my imbued heart. That is the saturated heart. And the teleports are all the same. We need stamina potions. We're going to need the salve graveyard teleports. Already have them and the Draymond stuff. We need Catherby tabs. Kazard tabs. Ring of Dueling skills necklace. Beautiful. And that is everything. Okay. I think there's a mattress we need, right? Yeah, I, I feel like we're supposed to take that mattress. It doesn't say we are, but I'm going to take it just in case. Okay, we're going to teleport to Fairy Ring AKS again. And we're going to go speak to Rance. Speak to Rance, chat option number two. And there we go, we did need the mattress. I knew we needed that. Let's go ahead and use the Kazard tab. Speak to the Tyndall merchant down to the Southeast. Chat option two. Then we are going to go to Ardi. Let's teleport to Ardi and speak to Wizard Comtree. Chat option number four. Then we're going to use the skills necklace and teleport to the fishing guild. Going to enter the cave to the east. And we're going to run north again. We are going to read the magic scroll. And we're going to kill the monster. Now we're going to wait for the death animation to end. And then we're going to read the scroll again. That is going to free Petra. Finish the conversation and then we're going to teleport to the ranging guild. Run to the northeast. Go inside the house, speak to a fan to me. Chat options are going to be four. Four. Two. 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 One.
Then we're going to climb up. And then we're going to climb up the second ladder. We're going to search the weather van. And we need to make some space in our inventory now. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this animate rock scroll. And then I will... Nope, that's not going to help. I'm going to drop these fire runes as well. Search the weather vane. Still need more space. I'm going to drop these two bars and come back for them. Eh? Use the hammer on the weather vane. I'm going to pick those bars back up. Search it again and take the three parts. Okay, fantastic. Climb back down to the ground. Through the trap door. Yes. Climb me back down to the ground. Use the three weather vane parts on the anvil to the north. Then we're going to return to the roof of the building. Lucky we didn't drop those bars. We actually needed them. But there's our stuff on the ground. And no one was able to take it yet. We're going to use the three parts on the weather vane. And then we're going to climb back down and speak to a Fantui again. Big into Fantui. Chat option number four. And then we're going to run south into the church and play the organ. Then we're going to run east to the flax fields and pick five flax. Now I'm not sure if this works like the rest of the diaries where I can just pick one flax and then drop it and pick it up again. Let's try that though. No, it doesn't work like that. I have to pick five flax individually. There we go. And then we're gonna run Southwest and we're going to speak to Sherlock. That's not Sherlock. That's Sherlock. And that is the Kenner and Diary complete. Now we need to Catherby tab. And we're going to speak to Aaron. Chat option number four. Then I'm going to go to the bank and get a new dual ring because we are almost out of charges. And then I'm going to use that last charge to go to the PvP arena. We're going to head over to the Gnome Glider. I'm going to Gnome Glider to the White Wolf Mountain. Should still be the last option. We're going to speak with Captain Bleed Mage. And chat option two. And then we're going to teleport to Falador. Running up to Tavoli from Felidor. And climbing up the stairs, speaking with the sand view. 
Chat option number two. Then we're going to teleport to the Edgeville Monastery. We're going to head around. All the way around Ice Mountain. And we're going to speak with Willow. Chat option number one. And after the world's longest cutscene, we kill this monster. And there it goes. That's Below Ice Mountain complete. And then we're gonna head back out the ruins. Heading around Ice Mountain once more to the Dwarven Mine. Climb down the trap door. Running to the south, then to the west. Speak with Hammer Spike. Speak with him again, and then kill the goons. Once the goons are dead, speak again with Hammer Spike. What the? I guess I have to kill them all together 
at the same time, which is annoying. I'm just going to quickly hop worlds because there's now four of them, and I can't deal with that many. I'll speak with him again. Oh, never mind. All I had to do was hop worlds. There we go. Speak with him one more time. Perfect. Just to make sure, now we're going to teleport to Edgeville. Going to run south to the fishing spots. Go ahead and lure. And we need to catch one trout. Perfect. Then we're going to run southwest. And speak with Tazzy. Then we're going to teleport to Varrock. Uh, 